where are we up to? Okay, so starting up at session three, you started off with um, back at the back at the cart, um, cr uh, collecting Iona. You'd had a long quest, and you decided to make your way past where you defeated the goblins earlier um, the day before and um, get to where you thought the goblin hideout was. Um, after some clunking and splashing through rivers and Iona singing, you came across a couple of goblins stationed outside the cave, um, one of which you managed to um, Aramil cast it sleep and it knocked him out and you basically you tied him up and dragged him to the side and intimid basically scared him um, enough that um, I think it was Aku Ar who spoke goblin. Yeah. yeah. So I think, um, so he was talking to Aramil and um, trying to, and sort of giving, telling him about what was in the cave. You found out that the leader of the goblins is called Clark and that there, uh, that he was, he was a bit sort of hedgy about the amount of goblins that were left in the cave. But you, but I think he said about six to eight left yeah. in the cave. Um, but you sort of you get the feeling that he was, he was obviously really quite terrified by this and just wanted to be left alone and not killed. Mm. You decided to not kill him. You left him sort of, you left him tied up, which was very good of you. And you went into the cave where you came across a pack of wolves, which um, were chained up in a room. Instead of walking by and leaving the wolves um, alone or possibly mm. tossing the horse meat that um, Aramil was carrying, um, carrying around, you decided to kill them. Um, which you he was did. carrying horse meat. Yeah. <laughs> which yeah, yeah you uh, didn't know that because you've been drunk asleep the day before, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had. That's, that's fair. So you'd gone through. You'd killed the wolves. You said a little prayer over them. You felt quite. You felt bad about it, but you know you dispatched them as kind of humanely as possible. You came across a bridge. There was a goblin on the bridge. You took him out with a single arrow and a single dagger, and. Um, you were then tossed up by um Kala was tossed up by Rowan. Some amazing feats of acrobatics happened. Um arrows and um daggers were taken out and thrown back uh, like thrown back down, disposed of the body and carried then sort of carried on. Um Ash went to check out the eastern side and the passage whilst and then um and Rowan and everyone uh, Rowan and everyone you all decided to try for the west which um caused a massive rock fall and Rowan took I think eight hit points of damage it was quite a substantial amount of injury from some tumbling rocks you ended up going back round um following where Ash had kind of Ash was there kind of going it's you know there's definitely something over here. You followed round, you ended up in a cavern with two pools of water, which you um, discovered would be used for flooding through the, um, the stream bed um, to try and stop invaders. And you came across a couple of goblins that um, Iona tried to convince that, um, uh, tried to kind of, I don't know, we use mock, um, vicious mockery on, wasn't it? You tried to talk? I wanted to see if they like could speak human because well, they didn't seem yeah. to want to attack not, us. So, not so much. They were just, yeah. It just seemed like they were just kind of they were sort of not. They didn't really want to get. No. In, they didn't really want to get involved. No, not not sparkling yeah, not conversationalists so yeah. really. And, um, and you decided at that point that um, because you'd kind of you had been told by the goblin outside that. Um, um, Silda was being held in the west side of the caverns. You decided to make camp for the night um, in the um, in the Twin Pool Cave, and so you built a fire. You've taken um, you've taken watch overnight. Nothing has um, nothing has sort of happened that um, that you can. Oh, was it? Oh, did you decide on a short rest? Was it a long rest or a short rest? I can't remember. It was a short rest. Just a short, rest. short, just a short yeah, rest. So yeah. you had a, and you were checking. Um, Aramil was checking his spell book. You've had a short rest. Um, I think you've all sort of healed up quite a few hit points and everything else. So I think you're ready to, um, ready to continue along and find out and sort of work out where you wanted to go. So. What would you like to do? 
I'd quite like to. What? Let me see if I can remember how to go that away. But didn't the goblin um, at the front that we questioned say that Gundren was to the west, and yeah. didn't we decide that across? Yeah, but like we're here. The... Yeah, but a dwarf is getting possibly yeah. killed. It wasn't. Yeah. Gu- it wasn't Gundren. It was Silda. Remember? Right. Okay, Silda. Oh was yeah, Silda. Silda was to the west, and then we were gonna go get Silda, and then because he's really tanky and amazing. I can't remember what we agreed. I, I just do the what? thing that people agree that I can't remember. I, took I wouldn't <laughs> like to be like surrounded in case maybe there were some goblins or maybe exploring the south part could be wise or well I, I'd like to um, try to hear something coming from the south or I mean, you can. You, you know, I, yeah, like you'd, you'd using that des- perception. Check. Des- decide what you would like to do, and we can go with that, whatever you would like to do. I am just here to. Uh, I am a facilitator. <laughs> yeah, I would like to, like, um, try to check if I could hear something coming from the south bird. Okay. From the south. So, um, Amamil moves slightly. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going. I'm going to just do it for you. And he's going to okay. he's going to listen and he's going to listen at the south. So if you'd like to roll for a perception, I can roll a okay, perception. Well, perception check. check, please. Yeah. Well, let me sort this three. Okay. Oh, nineteen plus three, twenty-two. Ooh. Okay. Um, cool. you can hear. Um, you can hear the sound of a fire crackling so you can hear that kind of like popping sound that you get from sort of when sort of sticks kind of explode slightly of crackling Mm -hmm. of fire you can hear um this you can hear sort of slight scuffling which sounds like it sounds like movement it definitely sounds like movement um you can hear the you can also hear a slight sound um sort of to your east to the east side of your sort of your hearing within the room you can hear like um what sounds like a like a slight wind howling through um and you can hear what sounds like panting more wolves oh what would you like to do okay i tell them i go back to them and okay and tell them what I, what I found. Okay. Like, I the hear... panting is it like animal panting or is it like dirty human? goblin panting? Thing. Well, would somebody would? Somebody, Can I go take would, a listen? I was going to say, would somebody like to somebody who's got um more like a somebody like to do maybe a nature yeah. check and see whether you can sort of hear, you can kind of tell. I do not nature. <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have I a plus have two. Three for me. I, I guess Kala is probably the one. Two? Yeah, oh. and you've got. And so Ash, oh. go on. Because Ash, was, Ash has moved. So Ash has just gone straight oh, okay. up to do it. So Ash. I got a five. Yeah, okay. Nice. Apparently, I just don't hear anything. <laughs> um, Ash, I, all I can hear is the water. Ash can only hear, yeah, that was, I was going to say, Ash can only really, um, is quite distracted. Your hearing is so acute, um, from your years of druidic training that actually the, um, the sound of the, because to, behind you, to the kind of west, is actually, um, like a waterfall. And that's all you, that is all you can hear. It is just sort of taking a lot of the, it's kind of muffling a lot of the sounds. So you really at this point you kind of you have to i suppose you have to make your decision you have to make your decision what do you what would you like to do if it sounds like wolves to the south shall we head west for our companion yeah i still think we should go west unless you want to split the party uh no no No, i'm good only go well i'm I'm wondering (laughs) i mean we cannot see what's in can i the south park Right, with the dark check? vision, maybe I don't know. I don't know how's how's it. 
it depends on. Reveal, I mean, um, you can you can certainly try. You've got you have got you have got dark vision. Um, yeah. So you you but you can. As somebody as uh, let's say like not in um, not in sort of DM mode. Um, you would probably want to you would probably want to be as stealthy as possible because if there is anything in there you will they will know if you just sort of walk yeah. up and try to see so it's worth doing I'm just sort of say um, you can use your dark vision but it's worth being stealthy yeah at the same time so would you like can to I... do that oh go on can I do the same thing Aramil did, but at the at the other side by the bridge, like if I stealth over and then roll perception and see if I can see anything, hear anything from that side. So you want to, so um, so Aramil is sort of Aramil is waiting. Are you all in the in this room? You want to head west over the uh, like over the bridge and see what you can mm -hmm. see what you can hear and then. And then report back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm if if the party's happy for you, if everyone's happy, yeah, if this all good. sounds good, then um, then go for it. So, roll still. I mean, move your character over the bridge. Okay. To where you want to go. Go a bit closer than that. Yum. Do you have dark vision? Yeah, I'm an elf. Okay. So you, let's say, you can see up to here. Um, mm -hmm. Would you like? I mean, do you want to move? Do you want to try and listen there? Um. Yeah. See what okay. I can hear here. Okay. Do you want to roll for perception then, please? Um, twelve. Uh, you can hear nothing apart from the flowing of the water underneath you from where you're stood on the bridge. Okay, so then can I stealth to kind of just hide around this corner a bit and then do the same thing? Okay, so do it first of all. Do a stealth check. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. that's twenty-one. Okay, so um, you are moving incredibly quietly. The you soft shoes, basically. Hello, no um, sound at all. Move to round the corner. Do you like to? Um, the, obviously, your dark vision kicks in again, and you can see slightly more of the area. Um, you can roll a perception check again. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Um, you... At least it wasn't yourself. <laughs> a goblin just walks walks beside you, like yeah, and you <laughs> are. Clunk, 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 clunk. Um. Um, you, <laughs> can, you you can hear nothing. nothing. Um, but there's obviously some. You I don't know what's happened with your hearing, but you've got that kind of weird winging in your ears, like a bit of too wax or in it. I don't know, maybe like water in or plane. something. <laughs> so um, at this point, you have no real idea. Okay, I'll stealth back to the group then. Okay, do another stealth check, please. Yeah. Um, 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 hang on, maths. Damn maths! 18! <laughs> Excellent! Okay, um, with 18, even though you've got this kind of weird winking in your ears um, you and you can't actually hear your own footfalls, you do manage to stealth back to the group um, and you can tell them what, um, what you have <laughs> discovered. Which and, is nothing. <laughs> and then and make it and make it all make it and make a decision from there. If anyone would else like would like to try anything or do well, anything, but make we know we know that the, to the south there's something, and we don't know if there's something to the west. Even though that little goblin told us there was. Yes, I feel again, like we should deal with the something to the south first. I feel like they probably lied about how many goblins there are also. 
Because there's no way there's only like five or six of them left. There, there can't be. There's gotta well, be more of them. They said that there was eight, and we've killed four, so technically there should be four left. That could mean that there Absolutely. are two west and two south, or there's there could be, be more than that. Well, if if you want to cover me, I can try to see if there's something in the south, like just. What? Popping my head going further like, to the south. I think. Well, we know there's something. We know there's a campfire lit, so there must be someone around. And I yeah, don't know. Maybe the if... plant can be. We haven't known what is it, but but what if there's too many one of, of them? our friends that is just like heavy breathing? Maybe. But what if like, what if Clark is around that corner? Around the south, in the south. Well, he'll eventually have to die, event. You know. Yeah, but we'll. But we could do better if we had Zelda. We have Zelda. Yeah, that's true, actually. Well, my acute strategist mind tells me that we know the dwarf is west, and there's no one else there. So either he's dead or alone. All of a sudden, (laughs) an arrow flies out. Oh, for the love of God! Um, aiming straight for where Rowan's very loud voice is coming from. <laughs> if you'd like to please um, roll a dexterity check to see if you can dodge the arrow. Where, from which direction? It is, is coming, from, coming. it is coming from the south. Yeah. And it is, and it's going, and it's basically going over your heads and down to where, um, down to where Rowan is. I bet she was rolling so do I for need everyone to south of us for no, ages. It's gone, it's gone, oh, it's gone, oh, it's gone over oh, you, okay. it's gone over you, and it's just, we're basically, it's it's almost like, um, it's possibly a warning shot, but basically it's been fired in the direction of the loud voice. <laughs> I have these effects on people. So, would you like to <laughs> please, um, would you like to roll a dex check to see if you manage to yep. dodge out the way? I, I got ten total. Okay. Um, I have got... Ah, Will this be the f- first my... time an arrow hits somebody? Where's my... Ooh, right. My DM's trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, got to make sure... Got to try and, you know, What's d and to... with a little bit of debt? Without yeah, a little bit of debt. A little bit of debt. Right? Just I just sweet. wish she wasn't so disappointed when they missed. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, I got really badly. Okay. Um, Because they always miss. It it hits you, and it does (laughs) four points of piercing damage. Does my AC not come into account? Or no, because you're doing because it's a dex. Okay. And you got and also and also you got ten. Nine four. (laughs) So I'm afraid you take. It's gonna happen every time we speak. (laughs) <laughs> there is something there is obviously they there's something they know that you're they know that you're there oh god because... i like how the fact that the short rest the campfire the sneaking up and down <laughs> that didn't alert them but <laughs> no one manning i've taken <laughs> i've taken 15 damage since we entered the cave <laughs> <laughs> where are you at right now my max take, health take is... lessons from um from aramil my max health is 12, but I've been healed that much. I'm now currently on 8. <laughs> you can, um, another arrow. Oh, for that while you're talking, flies out of the distance, uh, flies out of the south, and will end up, will try, it's going to, um, is going to hit, um, try to hit Kala. I knew you were going to say my name. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, you, you, you need to make a decision. I don't even think she make, was talking, though. We should something probably start again. trying to fight them. I'm saying, <laughs> while she's let's, doing let's that, go I'm going to come around to, here so and hide. Okay, so I'm come hide. Um, I would like you, then, to roll for me to see whether you actually manage to... Um, to Because you hear the... Um, actually, what's your passive perception? So, Wait, my what? Passive perception, please. So, on your on your sheet, in fact, I got it. Your passive perception is thirteen. That's fine. Um, you can actually you hear the whiz, the whiz of the um of the crossbow of the bolt being kind of let fire, and you are going to try and 
make it across um, before the arrow gets to you. So if you could maybe do an athletics check for me. Oh, it couldn't be the one I'm good at, could it? <laughs> I'm there with I'm there with your sheet. Oh my god! Oh, I got a one. Oh, oh my so. god! This is what this is what happened. I got a two. Uh, but I have a negative one. We are called natural one. <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> this is why all your fault. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> That wasn't some vicious mockery. <laughs> Your um, the as you dash as you dash past okay. the um the arrow clips your it clips the back of your leg and does two points of piercing damage as you try and go past and you can hear with your passive perception the sound of another bolt being notched. Right, I'm just gonna run in yeah, the south I'm, entrance. I'm, I'm just gonna can, I, can I try to check uh, how far are the archers um if you move Maybe? For, if you move Even... you can move forward i mean you can move forward sort of slightly i'm gonna yell move and everybody else just like move get out of the way I'm do moving. something just I'm to get everybody else doing something. doing something okay you can I'm see it do I, do I need everybody, line of sight to cast to, vicious mockery every, everybody needs to roll initiative please can i take the movement for running towards them first do i need to use that in the battle no, you can. Do, no, you can all do. You can all get into place, but I, then I, but you have to roll initiative. So. Um, Why do I only get high numbers when I'm rolling for initiative? Oh no! Okay, so, um, Ash, what did you get? I got a nineteen. <laughs> Ash, uh, remember to add your initiative modifier. Mm, I think she did. Yeah, nineteen. Um, so, sorry, not. That, for... Yeah. The, oh, the, other row, Ash. Rowan. Rowan, do it. Do the things that she does. I got nine. I got eighteen altogether. Right. Twenty-one. Um, Iona got twenty-one. Um, Aramil. Wait, um, eleven. How, eleven. Yeah, my famous. Oh my, my god. Um, <laughs> initiative rolls. Kala. Seventeen. Iona. Um, I can write. Um. This goblin <laughs> got lo lower than all of you. Okay. First up then will be Iona. Iona, what do you want to do? Remember, you can move first, then attack. You can attack, then move. You can do a bit of movement, attack, and a bit of movement. You can break it all up. Can I move out to kind of there-ish, viciously mock them, and then fire my crossbow. Is vicious mockery a, um... Yeah, that's her... That's a bonus action. bonus action. I don't know whether... It's, it's a can... Um... No, if you, a can... A can it's a cantrip. A cantrip is the same as a spell, so a cantrip I'm is an so action. Confused. You can use bardic... Ins your bardic inspiration is a bonus action. So you can inspire one of your teammates. Yeah, you cannot, I'll do but that. Cannot, but vicious mockery would be your would then be right, your, would then be, be would then be your action. So you could uh, do I'd that. Like you to... could inspire, then do vicious, and then vicious mockery, and you could you could easy, you could do that as a as a as a combo. That's fine. I think I think I'll inspire Rowan and then try to shoot them with my crossbow. So I'm gonna okay. go. And then I'm going to be like, you go, Rowan. You know exactly how many legs that goblin has. You can do anything. <laughs> Three. No, two. Ah, God, Almost. <laughs> Good enough. And then uh, rolling to attack. You can roll to attack. So um, with your crossbow. Uh, that would be a nine plus, plus five. So. Fourteen. Nope, it misses. I'm nope. afraid. It, Fourteen. It, it, it I feel like cool now. This, um, this arrow flies past. Unfortunately, there's um, the Kala's there and Rowan's there. She's you're trying to kind of split the difference between them, getting an arrow through, and you ju you you just you don't make it, and it goes and it goes wide, pings off the side of the wall, and that's um, so you can move. Because you've only probably moved around sort of five feet or so, so you've probably easily got another. You know what? I think. I, 15, can 20, I go 20, there? 20. Can I go there? 
Um, we you, you want to you want to move next to yeah you that's to, about fifteen. You want to move next to the goblin. Yeah, I have a rapier. That is it's fine. That is absolutely fine. You can do that. So I feel like I'm going to regret that. The next person to go yep. is Ash, um, because you're actually flanking the goblin um, with somebody else. That means that I'm going to give you advantage on your attack roll. Hmm. Ooh. Sorry, Ash. I am no, back I've behind it. I'm sorry, I've got. It's the, okay. I'm just, it's okay. It's because. <laughs> Nope. Sorry, tiredness. What do you okay. want to write? Uh, Ash, what would you like um, to do? Sorry. Before Rowan, like, gets hit and, like, murderized, can I... As this is going on, you can hear the you, oh yeah. where why were you with us up until yeah where was the last thing you heard <sighs> well the thing is i was here and i was like what's going on yeah you remember healing word I, no i no. said something about he no okay no, no, i said he something no healing about word. healing Right, said we, something about healing. Do you wrong. want us to scoot yeah. scoot back uh, to the beginning of the fight? No, no, I can I can see where I was at. So Iona tried. To, Iona inspired Rowan um, and missed with a crossbow bolt. Then it was Mosey done up next to the goblin. And then it's it my was turn. Asher's turn, and that's and that's where that's where I got up. That's where it died. Okay. So yeah, uh, I so said to that Ash. I was gonna scoot over behind this other rock over here and um, try and heal uh, Rowan while still having something I can kind of hide behind a little bit. That sounds good. Would you like to... Because I have healing um, word. You've got healing word, so... Yes. Um, I'm just trying to just... Double, trying I can to... read it off for uh, you if you want. Yeah, I've got everything here, but I end up like just i've got loads Here. of stuff it's a creature so. of your choice that you can see within range regains hit points equal to 1d4 plus your spell casting ability modifier okay um 1d4 and your spell casting ability modifier is um wisdom so it's, plus, wisdom? so it's wisdom so it's plus three so it's 1d4 plus three Whoop. it got caught on my hand that is a three, so a six. There you go. Yeah. Back to four. How many points of damage did he take? Was it only four? Or was it? I took four. Yeah, I took only... four. You got two extra. <laughs> Thank you, Ash. You're welcome. <laughs> There's a really weird set. I think somebody's mowing something outside. I was like, "Is that my ears?" And it's like, "No." Um, <laughs> suddenly, you can you can hear sn you you. There's um ya sort of yapping and snarling from um from slightly further in the cave, and you hear a vo uh, you hear a voice going, "Hold on, it's not going. Hold on." A yappy, <laughs> snarly voice. Could um, it be? Clark? You, you hear a voice going. Down, Ripper, you will have time, as will a mighty Clark. And you see. Oh, it's Clark! I told you! And you see. Boss five! Oh, God! He's a oh, big God. boy! Gonna die. <laughs> and you see. Yep. And you see that, so, boy. there, at the back of the cave, there's um there is a goblin. The goblin that has been firing at you and that you're trying to attack is directly in front of you. You also see now that there is another goblin to the um, right hand side and further, slightly further into the cave, but not too far away, is Clark. And he's holding on to this wolf's collar and he's going, Mighty Clark will kill you, humans. All fear the mighty Clark. Did he just assume our races? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Uh, You're not um, goblins. I don't think he's that bright. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it is now Rowan's turn. Rowan, what would you like to do? Can oh, I Rowan. attack and then move? Yep. Yeah. Or you can move, attack, move. Okay. 
Okie dokie, away I go. So I'm going to attack this goblin in front of me. And you mentioned he was flanked. No, no I, I said he, you, um, hold on, I'm the Iona. Um, yep, you can, yep, so you can have an, um, an advantage on an attack roll. Lovely. I'd like to attack him, please. You can indeed. I don't know if that's actually a thing. It's totally a thing that I'm just sort of, I'm sure that I've remembered from Critical Role. It is a thing, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, Fine, the, yeah. That's fine. Uh, but, like yeah. the yellow and green and blue dots and the red one. They, I'm assuming is that's a difficulty type thing? No, it's the colour of no. my dice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I can keep a track of what's keep going on. Keep track of which ones are which. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> it's basically, yeah. Well, it looks it like it'd be a difficulty type thing. It does look like mm. it's a difficulty type thing, but no, it's my it's my way of, so I don't just go... Keep track of things. Because <laughs> I've got goblin blue, goblin green... <laughs> I uh, I rolled 14. 14. Um, no, you miss. Good, great, so, lovely. Um, Even so with bardic inspiration. Oh, wait, I have bardic inspiration. Yeah. Hello, meta. Hello, meta pigeon. Go, f- yeah. Go f- 20. That's fine. You um you absolutely managed to Meta attack the goblin. goblin. Would you are you Go for the meta pigeon. I just called you the meta cat. Use your bonus for that. Right. Twelve. Oh. So you do 15. twelve. Fifteen. Do... Add the three. So yes. hold on. So are you doing? What 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 kind of damage are you even doing? I have no idea. After that little... slashing damage to the goblin. Oh, you absolutely take him out. How do you want to? Yeah. How do you want to completely take him out? Uh... Oh, goblin blue is gone. I'm just gonna go yes. a swing across the chest. <laughs> swing across the chest, and and, and goblin just crumbles to the flat ground. And you hear um, another, you just hear this voice just saying, Who dares defy Clark Ripper at them? And you see the wolf will dart towards you, if I can actually ever, like, actually move the darn thing. The wolf, is, go- the wolf is going to come round, it's going to move round. And it is going to take an attack on Iona. And it is going to get... 14, what's your AC? Um, 15? It misses, so it takes a bite at you, and you just take a sort of a sort of sharp jolt. Oh so... god, that dog's again. You say... I, I was going <laughs> to say, Lise, I'm going to move here. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're going to move up to um the, gob- uh, the goblins. So the goblins would, gone, would that so have affected uh, before the wolf moved, or would it have been the same time? It... It would have been the same it's time. Essentially, okay. his, our turns is essentially just technically like a split second in oh, time. Yeah, yeah it's like, six, it's like one after the other. Yeah, it's like six. Each turn's like what six seconds. I'm, so I'm just like... being a suck up and see if I'm gonna get an attack of opportunity on the wolf. <laughs> so... and the wolf went the the wolf went the other yeah, way. Don't worry. So unless oh, unless back, you want to you both run, moved at the same time, you're absolutely, more or less. you're very very welcome to run across the fire and take some take some fire damage. No, I'm okay. Okay, <laughs> right. Well, no then. Um, Appreciate the option. <laughs> it's Kala's turn. Kala, what are you going to do? I, I should say that we just missed another opportunity to burn them down with maybe <laughs> some burning hands and so maybe from my maybe uh, bring that up to us like so. But remember, you can only you haven't oh, got time to discuss anything because you're yeah, in yeah, fight yeah, now. No. So the only it's, it's thing over. once you're in once you're in battle, you yeah, can you it. can shout something. Yeah. But j- only during your turn, yeah. like during your during your turn, you can pro- like yell something to somebody like um, "Take the guy in the left" or something along those lines. But but it's so fast that. Mm. You don't have time to kind of sort of debate. Yeah, no, so it's good to so yeah. So it's good to I haven't said discuss these things. Yes. No, that's fine. Yeah. 
whatever you do, always tell Rowan to take the one on the left. Because <laughs> if you tell him to take the one that's right, he's going to wonder which one was correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Kala, what are you going to do? I am going to take my longbow. Okay. And aim for Clark right between the eyes. Go for it. Oh. Uh, do I add anything to it? I don't do I. It depends on what you're using, so... My long but oh, so I add five. Um, so... <laughs> seven? Wow! Um, no, that goes incredibly wide. I mean, you've got dark vision, but there's so, so much going on that the arrow just flies off into the background, which means mm -hmm. yep, that next yep. up is um, Aramil. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Magic Missile on... on Clock. <laughs> the dog! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay, so you're going to uh, do, attack the wolf with magic missile? No, Clark. Oh, Clark with magic missile. Yeah, better try to take the boss down first. So okay. the others are... So magic missile is one of your prepared spells. Yeah. Um, three glowing darts of magical force. Go for it. All do I have to roll all... attack? Nope, they're all simultaneous. Remember what we were saying? You, it, it, because it's instantaneous and it doesn't say that it's... um, um, They're basically almost like heat seek. They're almost like heat-seeking missiles. So, oh, okay. um, yeah, you they all three will hit. So, you need to roll um, 3d4 plus 3. Okay. One, <laughs> fuck. Three... <laughs> It's four and four, eight, eleven total. Eleven points nice. of damage. Yeah. Okay, so the missiles all slam into Clark's chest and you hear him roar and he goes, You dare defy Clark! He has is that very all he knows limited English skills. He's. No. I think, is that all he knows? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting mad Goblin King vibes. <laughs> Okay. Do, do a perception check for bulge. Um, I am just don't, the um. The, he is going. He is. He's not. He's um. Hold on. He's going to stay. He's going to stay where. He's going to stay where he is, and it is his turn. And Rowan is right in front of him. Oh yeah. So. Oh, no. Sixteen. And a miss. Oh, it misses. So he goes at you with his morning star, trying to slam down. And he sl he just slip, like moves into the barrel slightly because the magic missile is completely like, it's still like singeing singeing his um his kind of like leather arm. He's trying to sort of take that out at the same time whilst trying to hit you with the morning star. And it just goes wide and just sort of swings over your head. And we are back at the top of the round. So I only. Why couldn't he have rolled a natural one? That would have been great. That would have been great. It, unfortunately, not though. <laughs> so Iona. Uh, I can vicious mockery and attack, can't I? No, you can only vicious mock. You can uh, vicious mockery and move. Vicious mockery is all cantrips, spell. spells, everything. They're they're still. It's still like my thorn whip. Still an attack. Okay, I'll I'll um. I'll try to uh, stab the dog with my rapier. Because vicious mockery is good, because it gives it... it's damage. Well, it's yeah, and doesn't it give like disadvantage and mm. stuff? So I mean, vicious mockery is really good, but you can try and stab go try and stab the dog. Please don't insult a dog on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> It'll only go badly. Um, I'm I'm gonna try and stab the dog. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> 11 plus 5 is 16 yeah that hits yes. I hit, uh, do damage 1d6 plus 1d6 plus 3 5, 6, 7, 8 okay that definitely hurts it it hasn't killed it 
but it's definitely so it's definitely definitely wounded and it drops down you have managed to take part of it out which means that actually from this point on it is prone which means that you have attack um advantage on attacks against it because it is now lying on the floor bleeding out and whimpering poor ripper can 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 i give myself bardic inspiration Pretty sure you can be an egotistic bard. <laughs> I can't remember how many times per fight you get to Three, use Three, it says. You get to use bard. So you can. So you've used it once. You can use it again. And you can give yourself bard. You can give yourself inspiration. I'm going to let you I'd, do that. I'd like to go. Go, Iona. It's your birthday. We're going to kill wolves like it's your birthday. <laughs> it's her birthday? It's not. <laughs> it might be. You it get... might be. It may as well be. Um, it's Iona's birthday. Yep, so Every you day go, is Iona's birthday. You, you give yourself <laughs> you give yourself inspiration, and um, so you now have an additional d6 to roll, and you have bardic inspiration. Oh, one more time, so you have a long rest, I think it is. Um, it's Two. Rowan's turn, who is right next to um, a goblin on your right. And, um, um, wasn't it me? Then Rowan? Yeah, true. Oh, sorry, I've got Ash. It's because it says Ash. I'm so sorry. It's like names. It's okay. Are, it's names it will be are, all right. It's names that are the names. <laughs> Lise, you just refer to me how we do in private as that stupid guy that dates my that's, sister. That's... This is DM, <laughs> DM trolling yeah, I'm just, 101. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... God, you all get um... disadvantage. <laughs> right, Ash. Other Ash. Not real life Ash. <laughs> What would you like to do? There is. Um, if I move, that doesn't have line of sight because the rock is in the way. Um, he has got yeah. He has got he has got um, partial cover at the moment. So he's fifty. He's got fifty. He's if got, I move fifty he's got, here. Yep, you'll have line, that would you, be. You, yep, you will have you have line of sight oh. you can if you move slightly closer to Iona you have line and sight line of sight on either of them and you won't, All right, you won't this, be this thing's not here no because that, that big cross means it's dead yes i just put it there because it's like corpsey <laughs> um and i guess i just moved up the stairs into like right here ish because okay. I don't want to get in the way of uh, Kala either. To like there, and so my dagger has twenty foot is the max it can go without taking disadvantage, right? Yep. Yeah. You can so... always stand, you can always stand on the corpse. That would <laughs> that would work though, right? I see you have like, a high ground. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, I'm gonna throw my dagger at it. Okay, go for it. Roll for attack. Where's it at? There it is. And I get plus two, so that's no wait. Yeah, because it was no <laughs> plus four. Dagger is plus four. So that's yep. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, mm. yes, that definitely hits. What would you like to do some damage? Uh, damage is D four plus three. The one on the floor. <laughs> that doesn't count. Oh. Roll it again. <laughs> She's tripping over the body. It's a four. I said plus three, right? Five, six, seven. It's seven. Seven points of damage. I don't know. What do you say? It's, it's three. It's plus three. It's... Your dagger is plus four. And then, so yeah, it's a d4 plus what? three, which is what? Yeah, it's seven. Okay, um, that takes the that takes that goblin out. Wow. Um, how, what would you, how, nice. would, how would you like to? How would you like to do it? Um, how would you like it to die? <laughs> Be quick I about just it. say that I don't know because I've taken up every other thing that I've thought of for things killing them like the next oh, thing. Oh, you can absolutely. Oh, you can eyes. just. You, um, you can, oh, it goes into his the same left. His, uh, no, it just goes right into his right eyeball. Oh, it all makes, the way through. Brilliant. The dagger makes a kind of slightly slurpy sound as it sticks. Oh. It sticks in. It sticks in the eyeball, and it has gone with such force that it has actually caved in part of the skull and gone straight into the brain, 
the goblin just drops down um, dead and Clark roars with fury. Um, he's try he would like to move, but unfortunately Rowan um, is quite bulky and is blocking his way. Rowan, it's your go. You're up now. I will... The, the wolf's in pretty bad condition, isn't it? Can um, I tell if yeah, it's the in bad condition? The wolf, the wolf is in pretty bad condition, and you also have um, you also have advantage on a roll against it. But um, what, what, how would, what would you like to do first? I, uh, well, I'm going to attack Clark. I was just checking. Okay, that's if, fine. Um, if this wolf wasn't the secret leader of the group, go for uh, I'll attack, I'll <laughs> go attack for Clark. A, go for an attack of Clark. Uh, that's a miss. I roll a two, so that's seven. Okay, as you um, as you swing your axe towards him, he brings his morning star up and basically slams your um, slams your axe out of the way. And he laughs and he laughs at you and he goes, "Clark will build a throne from your bones, puny one." It is mm -hmm. now Kala's turn. If he is puny, then what am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for the same shot. I'm going to try and get him in his eye, just with my longbow. Come on. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. Um, 19? That will hit. Yes. Okay. Um, so then, 1d8. Uh. Eight plus three. That's eleven. Nice. That's... <laughs> okay, he is ve he is looking very very hurt, and he roars yet again. And he um and he looks over and sees his um he sees his pet wolf on the floor, and he roar and he roars even louder. And he goes, Clark will protect Ripper. And he rolls against Iona, who has done oh, the most... Oh, he's a dog person. Um, I feel and drop, mean tries now. to throw his javelin against Iona. Twelve. I feel less mean. Wait. Twelve. What's your AC? Fifteen! Okay, he throws the javelin, but so much damage has been done towards him that the javelin completely misses. Um, it with it kind of it it actually is closer to hitting the wolf than it is to hitting Guyona. Um, next up is our mill. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move. Okay, let me. I'm gonna move here. If I try to tell him to tell Clark something, will that count as my action? No, or, no, I mean, you can, you can, um, you can shout something really quickly. That's, um, yeah. that's a, that's a sort of a like a bonus. You can do that. So you can shout something really quickly, um, and still take movement and action. Okay, I'll try to. Uh, shout at him like surrender and we'll heal Reaper and Reaper will be alive and you will be and you will lie and um, at um, in Goblin at that so thank I you like... at that he he just laughs and he says you defy Clark those who defy Clark die Okay, okay then... I don't feel so bad now. He's being a dick to his poor doggo. Yeah, then <laughs> I'll oh, cast a uh, Ray of that Frost. I'm currently killing. Him. Okay. So, Ray of Frost, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, Ray of Frost is yeah, it's instantaneous. It's cantrip. Um, you need to do a ranged spell attack. Okay. It's... It's plus five, right? So, 24. Okay, that definitely hits. So if you would like to do Ray of Frost damage against him. Was 1d8. Oh, shit. No, wait. Uh, if I take the d8 instead of the d10. Four. Clark is um Clark is like is holding on by like by a thread. He's leaning on the barrel next to him and he is still he's still up he's still upright. You have no idea. He has taken a lot of damage, but he is still going. 
Um, it's the wolf's turn next. Um, it gets disadvantage because it's lying on the floor, but it's going to, it can't do anything apart from snap a Tiona. So, uh, it got a natural, it, it's a, it, well, I may as well not bother rolling twice because that was a natural one. So, um, so as it, um, as it tries to, um, tries to snap a Tiona, um, it, it licks my ankles. I feel <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it basically it kind of drools on your shoes. It's not. It's yeah. It it's not. It's not in any fit state to do anything. Unfortunately. So we're now, back, we're now back at the top of the round. It's as Iona's go. I'd I'd like to quickly dispatch the poor thing with my rapier. You can try. Go for it. Five. Okay. Um, the w plus five, which is no, ten. No. Well, I was going to say it's remember, remember it's prone, so remember that you get to roll, you get to roll twice and take the highest. Ooh, that one was an eight, so I get eight. No, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> that that's seriously nice DMing Wait. that. What do you get? Thirteen. Yeah. Don't yeah. I get bardic inspiration? Oh no, that's extra could, damage. Yeah, I don't you, need extra damage. No, else. I was going to say you could you could use the bardic inspiration, but there's absolutely no point because it's prone, yep. which means that you get attack rolls. You did thirteen. That is what you needed to do. So roll oh, for uh, excellent. Roll for uh, roll for damage. Four, five, six, seven without bardic inspiration. Okay, uh, bardic inspiration is um, is by the way, it's just attack rolls. So yeah, that not, is my It's not roll. the damage. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it's the attempt, it's to, the attempt hit. to hit. It's the attempt to hit, not the damage. Oh, okay. So cool. It's, so the bardic inspiration is basically you kind of. It's like the equivalent of kind of getting buoyed up by something and being like, "Fuck you all!" and gives you extra like power yeah. on your stab. It doesn't <laughs> actually kind of give you anything else. It just gives you that. But um, how much damage do you do? Did you say? Uh, four, uh, seven. Um, yeah. How would you like to dispatch the wolf? Through the head as quick as possible. Through the head as quick as possible. Um, as you do that, um, the wolf, th are you using your, um, is it a rapier that you've got? Yeah. Um, like, a spit it, like, straight through the head, um, and the paw, and, like, kind of, it, like, comes out of the, out of the, sort of, the side like from cheek to cheek basically and Aww. all you and you hear this kind of gurgling and it's not quite a roar anymore because he's taken some he's taken some damage but clark just just kind of goes ripper clark ripper <laughs> um ash it's your go for her, I, I, I feel sorry for Clark. Really? You feel bad? Did we just kill his support animal? <laughs> I was going to say, he's actually yeah. blind, uh, registered, <laughs> and, um, and he was, well, he was just waiting on somebody from Van, da uh, from Van Darlin to come with his disability check, and you come in there, and you take him out. This is just... This is not the big, this is not big community, this. <laughs> I'm too tired for this kind this of wolf murder today. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we, we broke. We broke Shadow. Oh, sorry. I, I, I get, oh, I, I'm not, okay. Um, I move close enough. Like, uh, I don't want to stand on the body because that's probably not like the best move you with can just, like you can trying always, to like, You can stuff. always try like nudge the body out of the way. <laughs> How far away am I here? Oh, oh you're not yeah. far. That's you're, fine. Not, you're not far. At Actually, all. I don't it's have my dagger me. anymore. He's... I can't do that. Your dagger, I threw it. Yeah, your dagger is over on over at the um in the stuck in the eye of the other goblin. However, so, how, oh, how heavy? If okay, I run wait, around wait, wait, wait. it, don't you have two daggers? Wait. No. Hold on. I just want question to question mark. No. No, you have. You've just got one dagger. I only Sorry. have one. I was like, oh, don't you have two daggers? No, you only have one dagger. <laughs> Sorry. So scimitar is like a five foot. Oh, you've also got four. You've also got four Melee? whip, which is ranged. Don't forget. You're Forgot a, about that. You're it's, a druid. Don't, 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 you're a I'll druid. stay far away. Yeah, I'll you're a druid. Away. Do not I'm... forget that you've got um, your thorn whip has got yeah. a thirty foot range. Why don't I have a... long whip? There it is. 
Yeah. So what? Oh yeah. So, um, so she has got um, like atta- almost like Indiana Jones style attached to oh, attached to her side, but it looks like um, just looks like um, sort of like a vine covered in thorns. And so she brings it out, and it's this sort of natural kind of this whip that she can hit up to thirty feet, and it's got like stabby damage. I have to nice. roll. Oop! Shit! Dropped it. So you have to. Um, I have to roll a d20 to see if I hit first, well, right? Well, I just want to have a look at this. You create a long finite whip. Blah 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 blah. Make a melee spell attack against. The, so make a um, spell casting ability. Um. So yeah. So my roll, spell casting so ability roll, is roll, the plus roll, three wisdom, right? Roll, roll, a, d, roll a d20 plus your um, wisdom modifier. Thirteen. Unfortunately, that does not hit. Um, oh. Yet again, um, he is he bring he manages to just bring his morning star up to like def- um, to deflect the um, the hit as it kind of as it comes towards. But don't forget that you've got that. It's really it it's it's good. Yeah. Rowan, you're up. I'm I like going. being further away from things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're the only one. I think Aramil does too. <laughs> Rowan, you're I- up. I'm uh, gonna take an attack against Clark. Okay. Clark is just sort of, or you can, you can just his ras- his breathing is sort of is raspy. Um, That's uh, twenty three to hit. Okay. Um. Yeah. That 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 just about uh, just about hits. Um. If you would like to do some uh, damage with your axe. So, yeah. Yep. That is. 12 damage. How would you like to do this? Yes! Um, I'd like to, as I pull my axe up, about to take my my hit, go, that name, by the way, Clark, is Alexander Manning. And then with that, like, slash across his torso. Slash across the torso. Um, As you slash through, it actually also cuts through his arm and his arm holding the morning star drops to the ground as it slumps over the barrel aramil you're the only one that speaks goblin aren't you yeah so you can all you can so you can now hear from your left oh sugar i'm sorry i'm just oh. i'm i'm um. all over the place you can hear um in goblin a little sound saying, I surrender, surrender, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. As the goblin that has been waiting in the wings has actually seen the um, immense amount of damage that you have done to it, to the boss and to um, to the, another couple of goblins and it just wants to, and it, and it doesn't, it, it does not want to die. So... At this point, you're the only one that speaks goblin. It is completely up to you what ha- what what happens now. Um, it drops its cross. It drops its crossbow. Um, you get the feeling yet to get that Clark maybe hasn't been the isn't now Clark's gone. It has no reason to to attack I... you. Yeah. Okay. I... I'll tell. I'll tell. Point my uh... bow at him. Even though I don't know what he's saying, can I point my bow at him just in case? Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, that's a good, yep, good idea. Um, Aramil, what would you like okay, to do? Okay, I move right, not near, not really near, but like in front of of them, okay. in front of the group, and like tell them not to shoot or not to attack. Okay, and so the um, the goblin just drops down um, drops its um, drops its drops its crossbow to the gro- drops its crossbow to the ground okay a- absolutely no i told the goblin to come here ca- uh, slowly you know like okay okay it it you can it, it, you can it sort of move it moves over it's looking it's still looking very kind of very hedgy it's not quite sure whether you're whether you're going to kill it or not and obviously this bow is pointed straight at its head um and so it's moved to it's moved to there okay i i can't persuade it i don't speak goblin damn and that 
You know, the, the that means it's yeah. left its crossbow back where it used to be, right? Yeah, it's left its crossbow um, over, kind of just, he's thrown it down, so imagine it's by this hay bale over on the right-hand side of your map. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll the him... token is holding it, we're just, you know, theatre of the mind. Okay. Where have they taken... Well, where have they taken Sylvia and... And the other one. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, so if you can, are you going to use, um, are you going to try and, are you going to use persuasion? Or are you going to use, what are you going to? Um, are you using um, intimidation or are you using persuasion? Well, I'm pretty shit at both. No, so. well. <laughs> I can, have can I support it's him already in that and, and, to him and, and both, try both of one. So maybe I, I we can we can make Rowan intimidate him. Why why don't you, I don't know, why don't you um give him in, give him inspiration on this role? Uh yeah, with bardic inspiration. Yeah. Um, because this is your, your third time. I know that you're not abs like completely in combat, but you kind of are. So yeah. this is your last one before you have a rest. Um, so, are you wanting to intimidate him, or are you wanting to persuade him? No, I want to persuade him better than... I think we, we have been violent enough. <laughs> so, maybe just, like, approaching him, like, okay, we are not going to harm you, mm, don't okay. worry. Um, the okay, we accept surrender. The Rowan, Rowan is, is, isn't, well, well, doesn't he's really this, agree. Rowan is like hacking um, through his boss. Looking and, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the goblin, right, his hold, chest, like, the goblin. I'm pulling the dagger back out of the face of the one. I, I, I give, Go I on. give him in, I, I, I try to, I give him inspiration and try to make the goblin feel better by, by going, you had a bad day, your clock <laughs> is gone. Hold on, so wait, 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 dog, but let's all get along. Are you in trying to inspire Aramil, or are you trying to inspire oh. the goblin? Because I'm, I'm, inspiring, <laughs> I'm, I'm inspiring Aramil, okay, that's let's better. all get that's along. Fine. But that's... I'm also hoping that the goblin gets the, the kind of feeling that I'm conveying that it's a positive, here. That it's, that it's something positive. Yeah, he looks at, a ha happy adventure. Oh. He looks at... He, looks at he can't you, understand what you're saying. He can't understand it, but he... And, and, he just really, he just looks utterly, utterly confused and slightly... I don't fucking blame slightly it. Slightly <laughs> scared. So, um, Aramil, now you okay. get an extra D6 um, that you can add to whatever score you get. Okay. Oh. He's looking pretty, he's looking pretty scared. I don't, it's not going to take a lot to... Oh, I get... It's not going to take an awful lot to persuade him. It's ten plus, plus the six, one, three. So it's 12, because I have my minus one. Minus one. And so, um, a little bit shitty. But, it's, but because um, <laughs> yeah. because this goblin has seen yeah. the slaughter of his sort of comrades, he is, um, I mean, he's pretty much soiled his armor. And he's not looking in a he's not looking in a good way, and he's not smelling in a good way either. And um, and he just and he looks at you, and you can sort of you can just sort of see in his eyes that moment where he the he becomes sort of deferential to you, and he kind of goes like kind of just nods, and you kind of get the feeling that pretty much if you have um, if you have questions and he can answer them, he will. Yeah, okay, I'll tell I'll ask him for our friends, for Sylvia and Gundrum. Okay, so... Um, where where have they taken them, or where are they? Okay, um, Gun, Gun, um, Gundrun, who is, which one's Gundrun? The small one. The short one. No? <laughs> the... They took. They oh took, wait, I don't. I don't speak goblin. They took the little. They took the little one away somewhere. I. I. I don't know where. Um, the 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 other goblin will will know more. Um, the the big one though, the big one. Um, Yemik took the big one. Yemik. I I Which, didn't. Y Yemik. Y e e m i k. Yemik took the big one. Okay. Oh, what? Uh, 
who I mean I asked him for Yemek. Okay. Who, uh, what is it? Um, y- Yemek, and he looks over at Clark, at Clark that's currently being um, hacked into even smaller bits by by Rowan. <laughs> um, and he he looks he looks over and he looks at you and he goes, Yemek is now our boss. Is he oh. like Clog? Can, can I turn to like Rowan and say, I think he's dead now. <laughs> I think, I think you managed think it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So whilst um, like our mills de- trying to question this goblin, um, <laughs> I mean, like you've got Ash trying, like Kala kind of keeping steely eyed on him. Ash, try, like, I'm just kind of Ash with one foot on, trying to like pull a possibly trying to pull a dagger out of the brain matter of this goblin. You've and got me singing Ash. obscure early two thousands <laughs> inspirational gubbins. Chop, oh. chop. he can't understand. Brilliant. Um. So he goes. So um. He's he goes. Yemek, Yemek is 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 like us. He's he's not like Clark. Okay. So a goblin. So small. Um, he just or he looks friendly. At, he, he looks at, he looks at you both, and he doesn't. Un, he just doesn't. Un, you're you're talking gibberish to him. Oh, I don't understand him. Okay. I really want to try goblin says what. So <laughs> the only I... the only one that can understand him and can speak to him is obviously our mill. Yeah. To the rest of you, it just sounds like he's going like <laughs> like that. Because apparently I that's how him... goblins talk. <laughs> that's uh, racist. Let's go with that one. <laughs> I, I tell to the rest of the party. You don't know what their that's language sounds like. <laughs> I tell the rest of the party, at least the ones that aren't actually busy uh, <laughs> chopping, <laughs> chopping. Desecrating. <laughs> big grow. I'm just trying <laughs> to get goblins. my dagger back. Thank yeah. you very I think, much. I think everyone, everyone, everyone sort of stopped. Birthday. I think we everyone should, stopped we should, now and they've um, all kind of cut, they've all gathered round. We should tie... Right? What we, oh, yeah, what, what we should, the what, we, what should we do with the? I don't have any rope. With the little goblin. I could kill him. Don't we? So just send him out to his friend that's tied up outside. Maybe they'll spread the word of some kindly adventurers. Iona, this racism. Not every goblin is friends with every goblin. <laughs> can you can you ask the goblin where Yemik is? Where he took. Zildas. Oh, I'll, I'll translate. You're going to translate okay, to I, that. I translate. Yep. Yeah. Um. He. Um. He. He goes. He goes. Uh, the, over, over the over the bridge and in the big cave. That that's where they took the big one. Okay. I. I told. Please don't kill me. No. Please don't hurt me. They have taken him over the bridge, on a big cave. They're on a big if you, if you How know many? where they yeah. took Gundren. He said he didn't know. He said right? he just... The other yeah, cause... I didn't... Yeah. I didn't um, tell him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. As he, he told they had taken him away. Yeah, because he so said... He, he, uh, yeah, he told Aramil that the, yeah. they took the little one away. So, but he didn't right. But he didn't know where, but he thought... Ye, but he thinks Yemek might know. But he doesn't. He's not paid enough to know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's paid at all. He's, not he's, a little, he's, just a he's not important in a enough to horse. know stuff. No, well. basically. I tell Aramil they should probably unionize. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, goblins unite! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Work strike. So, um, <laughs> were there more goblins with Yimik when they took him away? When they took Zilda away? Yes, there are and you can see um, he doesn't know he doesn't know that he doesn't he can't count but you can see he's kind of kind of working through like working through the names of of his like of his like the other goblins um, and he was like, and he goes, 
Yemek was with that many. Entire handful. <laughs> That's not a okay. lot of goblins, right? How much are those, Rowan? <laughs> <laughs> Five goblins, that's more than we've ever defeated at one time. Oh, okay, well. And Yemek. What? Yeah. <laughs> There's six, yeah. What do we do with our little friend? Uh, should, should we just look at his... Can we he's, send he's... him outside to go take care of the other ones? To tell him that there's another one of his friends outside, he should go take care of him? Yeah! yeah. Let's, let's do that. He's, look, he's, look, he's looking, he's he's looking, looking, he's looking around. And all he can hear is like you guys all talking, but he can't understand it. And he does, he's just, he's just, he's looking actually very, um, yeah, he's looking utterly terrified. He just rolled a natural one. He is absolutely, he's looking like he might pass, he's looking like he might pass out with fear quite soon. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What do you think? Can I, I, I don't understand think, uh, hugs. Well, you might maybe. piss his pet. He might he's be a bit already, pointy, actually. Let's he's already. He, you can smell. He probably it. smells he's pretty already, bad. He's yeah. already. There's. Yeah. There's been badness happening. All has not been well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what would you I like? Think to, we what should would you maybe, like to maybe do? someone could check if there's a rope around because. I, yeah. I um. Can we like... loot the boxes and stuff that are laying around? Oh, you can absolutely... I wouldn't leave him... And see if there's rope in any of them? You can or what is in any of them? You can absolutely do that. Um, would somebody I... like to keep an eye on the I... goblin and who would like to... Yeah, I, was... I will... Well, Check this group of boxes? The... I was going to say by this time, Lisa, I imagine I'm done looting the boss. So I'd probably swagger up to the goblin and just hit him with the pummel of my great axe on the head. Go to sleep, green man, let me guess. <laughs> like last time. Okay. Um... If it works once, it'll work more than once. You might kill him. That well, would be mean. Roll, roll, kill him. roll to, roll to. Oh. You're gonna have to roll to attack. It looks like there's rope back um, here. Nineteen. No, sorry. Twenty-one. Yeah. Roll, to, roll for damage. I'm doing it with the pommel, not the blade. So is it gonna be reduced? Yep. Yeah, um, I'm going to. You can halve it. Oh sh! You can half. Okay. You can half the damage. You've got. To I just rolled a twelve on a twelve-sided die, um, so that's fifteen damage halved. So, <laughs> is that eight rounded up? Because you round up from half. Yeah. You only really wanted to knock him out. So... Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't know his own strength. Unfortunately, that um, yeah. that hit. Um, was so you do, you do not know your own strength, and unfortunately, um, you didn't. You did um, basically twice its hit points worth of damage by um, twice. Well, we like, shouldn't have let him go, guys. We shouldn't have let him go. Well, so, is someone going to tie him up now that I've knocked him out? It's too. It's too. It's, <laughs> it's too late now. He crumple. He crumples to the floor yeah. and he's dead. Yeah, thank God. Oh! Well, yeah. So maybe did, maybe we can much... tie his head. Again, you know, like now you have cracked it like an egg. <laughs> I look at Rowan in disbelief. <laughs> yeah, the thing that you've so um, you like murdered him, murdered him. I was I giving him the shot. Like this well, you, were, you, were try, basis, you were trying. You were trying. You just you basically you rolled as you rolled as well as you you rolled as well as you could have done at that point, and unfortunately, it was already like it was. It the goblins are not. Hardy creatures. I'm, I'm just there trying to push his wound together. He's fine. He's, he's like, fine. Just like, like, he's, he's, he's fine. fine. Yeah, unfortunately, pushing his yeah, face he's, into he's the mud. Even, he's, even, he's even past healing, like, like kind of stabilization mm. and death rows, I'm afraid. Um, Ash, you said you're looting. Um, you didn't find anything on Clark aside from the Morning Star, by the way, which you I, can, um, uh, Ash, uh, um, sorry, did I? Way, which you consider, you can. Take with Did you I find anything on this one? extra weight. Um, you are looking at no, apart from the apart from the, no. again because it's just goblet. Apart from the crossbow bolts, um, as you um, hold on, um, so you are taking sort of um, like kind of rifling through everything. Um, you do. Can find, I do that too? You can. So you can go over to the other side. Um, Ash, you are um, 
as you're rooting through you find lots of piles and um and sort of sacks and crates and everything you do find some rope on foot but it's a little late now um and they've all got um they've all got a symbol on them and the the all these sacks and these boxes are all marked with the image of a blue lion um could i check was that the um logo thing of the um people we were traveling with who are you asking you i'm not saying you <laughs> you have to tell me can i do a knowledge roll you have to recognize it you have to, 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 you have to tell right. me whether you what else were... what else should i would I... like to do a knowledge roll of the th way i don't knowledge uh does anyone knowledge history do i history i don't history I, I'm well not, uh... anything anything <laughs> Should knowledge do or knowledge. related. I think it's clear <laughs> who who has the advantage. However, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to be the judge. Who's going right. like first? Somebody to... who's going to so right. Yeah. Ash has found all of these um, these supplies. They've all got a blue lion on them. Um, Ash can either make the um, the history check herself if she's got because she's the one who's seen it, or she can relay that back to one of you who she thinks should do the history check. Um, I have plus two, so it's up to, yeah, so. Well, you... I have plus three, but mm, it's more or less. You Say, can... I kind of just yell back to everybody else in the group. Does this logo look familiar to anybody? So, um. So somebody, just make a choice between you. Somebody would like to do um, a history check, please. Yep, that's yeah. a lion. Aramil. <laughs> okay, I will. What color is it, Rowan? Okay, it's 16. Blue. Um, I know my family's color. <laughs> okay. Um, you, um, Aramil, from the um, from the times that Silda came to your kind of, um, your home and to your um tutor i suppose and um and he also he always brought with him um goods sort of foods and various things like that as he came to see you you actually recognize the symbol and it's actually the symbol of um you because you've also done you you've asked and you've spoken to S sort of silda a bit in the past about things it is the symbol of the lion shield costa the Lion Shield Costa, which is a merchant company, um, and you know that it is based um, and has a trading post in Fandalin. Lion Shield. Lion Shield Costa. It, that's the name of the merchant. Okay. Co that's the name of the merchant company. So basically, this so this is all. Um, this has all been. Looks like it's all been sort of stolen from various um i don't know supply runs and so on it's been sort of by this sort of it's been out all these goblin ambushes you've heard about this kind of this has happened you knew that there have been goblins on the tribal trail mm -hmm. um that this is that's the reason that gundren hired people to protect his goods okay, to start tell, with isn't it so i tell them that it's it's the logo of the Lion Shield. Yep. Well, more or less what you have told us. What I've just said, yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and so you, there's loads and loads of goods. Um, Ash, as you are f um, rooting through all of these um, these provisions, you find a chest. I want to open it. Okay. Also, did I find anything else of use, like rations or weapons? Did I find anything, anything in the haystack? You found you. All you found was the crossbow that the I would like goblin the had. The goblin had dropped down. You don't find anything else apart from what um, nothing in the haystack. And to your left, Iona, you um, it's just again, it's just sort of sacks of flour and that kind of thing. Um, in the sack, can I even use the crossbow? Can I can I take a small sack of flour, please? Um, you can do. Um, they're they're not light. It's quite heavy. Just a it small will... a small sack. You can carry a small sack. It will mean that you have to you have to carry it in both hands, though. Oh no, never mind. I thought you meant like you know a little bag it's of flour. <laughs> no sack <laughs> of flour. It's a where. This is like a warehouse. Oh, okay, like, never mind. These are from warehouses. 
I, I was just thinking, just cut well, myself um, in flour, pretend no, that I'm the, some this, sort of ghost these, to the goblins, these, and then they run these away. These supplies, they're not like um, like adventures, like, like like jerky and that kind of thing. They're like sacks of flour, bowels of apples. You know, it's that kind of it's that kind of thing. It's kind of like industrial can I take kind of one apple. You can indeed take one apple. Um, um, while this and, is happening, oh, can I attempt to skip? Sorry, sorry, go on. No, go on. Um, while this is happening, can I attempt to skin the wolf? Seeing as last time skinning a wolf went so well for me. <laughs> you can attempt to skin a wolf. It would be a survival check. Um, and um, also, you want to I open... I found a chest, right? You want to open the chest. Yes. Um, you open the chest. Um, it is not trapped, thank goodness, because it, you know... I forgot about those. Yeah, don't forget. That, I mean, like, if you open goblins chest, are you never stupid. Know whether it's going to Do they like, really <laughs> want to trap it's it? hopefully not a mimic. To where exactly. they're going to try and... If they opened it, they'd be dumb enough to set off their own trap. Yeah. So would they really... But they might, but there might be a, like a, a switch on it yeah. or something. But anyway, you open this treasure chest. Um, this looks like where Clark hell um, put his um, his personal supplies. Anything good that he might, anything good that he might have sort of stolen off corpses as he was kind of um, as he was fighting. You have found in this treasure chest six hundred copper pieces. 110 silver pieces, two potions of healing, and a jade statuette of a frog with tiny golden orbs for eyes. Uh, Rowan's losing his shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to take all of it. How much silver did you say again? Um, 110 silver pieces. 110. And the frog statuette is probably, it's probably about that big. It's jade. Oh, and it's probably cute. About I like that it. Big, so it'll, and... it'll, fit, it'll fit in a pocket. Um, jade, a frog, pouch. Do we that's know good. that that's been looted or is uh, is Ash keeping it to herself? Well, um, I'll... I'll let you guys know that I have it. I'll share the money with you all because... Yeah, my druid. <laughs> Maybe I won't let you guys know how much I have, but I'll be like, hey guys, look, I found some copper. There and you go. Not so, silver, um, I swear. So, not thinking Ash, about the silver. Ash, <laughs> you so, know. I mean, look, guys, I mean, if, 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 don't forget, you can always do it. You can always do it. You can always do insight checks if you don't trust what people say. Don't forget that. Well, are you actually telling us that you haven't found any copper? Or are you I, just I, no, I told you, hey guys, look, I found some copper coins because I found 600 of them. But you didn't find any silver. I never said anything about silver coins. I just said I found okay. copper coins. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I'd like to make, if possible, to check on Clock's corpse. Is there something that may help us to intimidate or, yeah, like someone, something we can, we can carry, so... Yeah, like the a signet ring that Yeah, the, the, the rest star. of the goblins just okay. look at it, and, and all fact, they killed Clog, you know, so they are badasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like you to do a perception check on, okay. Cla on Clog's Oh no! An investigation check investigation? on Clark's. An investigation yeah. check on Clark's body, please. Okay. It's sixteen. Sixteen. Um, he doesn't appear to be wearing any jewelry or anything else. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything that he is wearing that you could take. Um, could I walk up next to um, Aramil and go? What are you looking for? You can indeed. Yeah, I would walk up to Aramil and go, what are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what I expected. Um, I look at him like a little bit um, still upset because uh, what he did to the poor goblin. <laughs> like, he's uh, asleep. He's yes. But I tell him I'm Come looking the for something that the we can use against the rest of the goblins. So they won't attack. 
I, I, I know what you need. Yeah. And I, I'd like to make an attack on his neck. Not uh, the wizard, the goblin on the floor. Thanks. <laughs> I am so glad that you specified. <laughs> Um, well, listen, no, you, you don't have to make you don't have to make an attack roll because let's yeah. be honest, it's the, guy, dead. the guy's it's not, 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 not gonna dodge. I, I will, I, with pride on my shoulder, just drop it down on Carl's neck and then pick up his head and go, "Here you go, wizard," and shove it into his chest. Wow! You'll end up killing Aramil. You're aware of this. I hit him. <laughs> you didn't hit the goblin you killed. So. <laughs> Are you all right, Kala? Yeah. So you were looking over the side. Um, yeah. Uh, basically, so you um, you swing Let's your axe do down. You um, sever his um, his head from his shoulders and um, grab hold of his sort of hair. This is very re reminiscent of the old kind of the old films, like kind of clash of the titans type thing and it's um and the head is um shoved in uh, towards aramil um somewhat somewhat um, somewhat drippy with blood i imagine um, what was light for me is quite heavy for aramil as well because he was quite a sizable goblin yeah and also uh, um ash what would you like yeah. to say i can see you. um when i looted did i loot all of this yep Oh, you can. Okay. You've looted um, everything. You have managed to find I... the treasure chest, and you've uh, um, and you found loads of this kind of the all the same, um, from the same obviously from the same sort of warehouse. Am company. I actually? Can I actually use a crossbow? Um, I don't know. No, I don't think you can. No. Um, it's no. Oh, you I don't can remember. use um, a scimitar, sickle, slings. Um, when you eventually level up some more, then you can maybe take proficiency in more in in different types of weapons. You can take a look at it, but currently, uh, currently no. Okay, I'll just leave it. Um, has anybody looted that one? Mm. No, I don't think anybody's really done any looting. All okay. I want to do is loot. Oh. Give me all the things. That's fine. This is like me playing Skyrim. Okay. That's awesome. Um, so, um, Kala, what are you doing at this point? Because you were like you were holding onto the goblin, but then uh, yeah. Rowan Rowan came along and gave it a um, a, a sleepy bop. <laughs> um, I have taken my 120 copper that Ash gave me, <laughs> and um. I don't know, my investigation isn't very good, so I'm not really looking for loot. Um... I mean, you don't have to be doing anything, I was just wondering if no. you wanted to. Um, did I get 120 going. copper as well? Because it's That's 600 divided, divided by, by five. 5, right? Yeah. Which is 120 yeah. each, so yeah. So it's 120, so if you want to give those out now, that in, instead of you take, yeah. keeping them all, yeah, everyone, um, everyone will get a 120 copper pieces. Um, the Aramil, what would you like to, what would you like to do about having, um, this rather heavy head? Because this is not the head of a goblin. Yeah, well, uh, it's, a, it's a, it's a fairly kind of big head. <laughs> like, I tell Rowan, could you please carry it? Mm, I think... You can make better use of it to intimidate. It'll look scary. Actually, to actually intimidate. <laughs> but Aramil, the you goblins speak and goblin. me. Well, I've already got a two-handed well, weapon yeah, that I, I can I mean, improvise. He can he can just show the clock's head to the goblins, and I'll I'll make the speaking. Uh, I'll do the talking. That's but a good idea, yeah. Like I got you. I've been a really the big bad the words. boy <laughs> <laughs> carrying <laughs> his big boss head. Maybe um, just as an, as as an aside, um, thinking outside the box, um, I know that these are um, these are not your items. These are items that belong to a warehouse company. But do remember that there are sacks. They may have things in them, but there are there are thing there are things that you can utilize. Could I empty out some of the flour from like? three of the sacks and then pack the sacks away to like put over people's heads and stuff 
Yes. I'm not, we're not making a collection. I was going to say you do only have one head. But How I don't many? Know why are you need, I don't know why you need three hours. That's not a very good disguise. I don't really think. I don't think we're lawful good white anymore. Powdery sacks. Oh. That's not really putting over a great um, image. Um. Well, you can. That's that. This is something that I would I would suggest because you can obviously you could. I uh, in the in the future it's worth because I'm doing this in a kind of like thinking out like just sort of to think yeah. outside you could empty out one of the sacks um put the head in it and juice with the rope that ash found to like tie it to your belt oh well, that's a, that's, that's a so better idea than keeping them for disguise purposes weapon and but and then it could be taken out quite quickly so there are things okay. that you can thank you for the idea how much rope was it that i found <laughs> you um, never said i don't think you probably found around five about five feet of rope okay so oh, not, was... so so not a huge amount just like a a small a small coil um, am... and it's not so... and it's not like massively like it's not like really thick rope as well it's just sort of okay up, it's sort of average um, so i found the money the two healing potions the mm -hmm. rope the jade frog thing yep Frog, a, a frog. Oh, you have. A, she hasn't told you any of this. She said that uh, she's found sorry. copper, sorry. and you guys don't know what she's found. Sorry. Remember, don't. Yeah. And <laughs> was there anything else? Because I was trying to write it down as fast as I could. Yeah, but I think I forgot shared something. Out your so you've got you've got personally 120 copper pieces. You also found 110 silver pieces. I already had six. Two, yep. So um, add that on. Two potions mm -hmm. of healing and this jade statuette with little golden orbs for eyes. Little fit. Little fit nicely into a into a pouch or a pocket. Um, the okay. head is being taken into the bag. Um, can I have? Sorry, did you roll for the survival check, Rowan? Yes. Or... Yes. Sorry, I got a sixteen. You got a sixteen. Thank um, you for remembering. You do. Um. You. You kind of you sort of hack at the wolf and you um but you have no um you have sort of no proficiency do you have you have nothing in survival skills do you uh i have one plus one you have plus you have plus one mm -hmm. how what's your wisdom my wisdom is 13 with a plus one proficiency Oh, so it's just that's just so it's not it's a normal it's not a you just got that's a normal wisdom proficiency it's not you haven't got a proficiency bonus. Yes, yeah, sorry. So, yeah, yeah, you haven't got the bonus for it, which means that they you you aren't, you aren't yeah. natural you aren't sort okay. of naturally adept mm. at this. So you're not managing you haven't managed to sort of skin the wolf in a like a sort of nice wolf pelt. You've just sort of hacked bits of ripper off. And right. you've got sort of you've, you've kind of you've kind of you've got you've got some wolf skin. To be fair, I'm using a great axe. I don't know what Rowan was thinking. No, I'm not entirely entirely certain either. So at this point, you now have um, you have a you have some treasure. Um, Iona's covered in flour. Aramil's got some is like looking at some of the kind of gooey blood that's on his clothes because Rowan shoved this he head at him. Um, the head is now in a bag. Um, we you ha you don't have. I mean, I'm not sure how long we've been on, but I don't want to. I mean, there's it depends on whether you want to carry on at this point. Just gone ten past four. Yeah. Yeah. We're fine. Yeah. It, we, we don't have anything to do on Sunday. But it uh, mostly depends on sleepy, sleepy, mm. sleepy. Shad, I'm, I'm sleep, good. You're good, and Kala obviously does need to like um, go at five at least. Well, um, it's not like dead on five. I must leave. Um, yeah, it's I think not a Cinderella can... experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what would you like? So, um, we are going to say that you're going to uh, carry on, what would you like to do? Go west. Go west. Please, finally. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that, Go isn't, west. Isn't that about a song? Da -da -do 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 -do. Go west. Isn't it by, like, Pet Shop Boys or something? Okay. Um. Yeah, age. Showing age. Um. Would you like to go west <laughs> with your bug bear head? <laughs> Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Hello? Can you hear us? Oh my Can god, here we go! Oh, 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 <laughs> For goodness sakes, oh. I just thought it might be a Discord issue because no, we, we like everybody was having issues at like once. We're getting fiber soon. Discord, because oh. I, I didn't hear almost anyone. I could watch both Ash and, and Freya um, rather well, but like playing just was. was we can hear everyone still. now. Oh okay. yeah, can I was going to say, I can... Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Everybody good now? Yeah, Yeah, because yeah, okay. every, everyone had gone really, yeah, everyone had gone yeah. like really quiet and everything seems to, it seemed to have gone funny. So, right, okay, so you're going west, here we go. <laughs> so, who's, right, what's your, uh, what's your, what's going to be your order? Not me first. So, so what's, <laughs> you need to decide what your marching order is going to be. Um, there is no light in this cave. Okay, I think we so, just did it. I should probably go. The, I've got dark vision, so I'll go. I'll go at the front this. Oh wait, okay. should we heal a little bit? I'm Max Hell for the first time since we've been in the cave. Yeah, I'm Max Hell. Oh wait, I got you up to Max Hell. Yeah, you did. Oh, we're sneaking, by oh. the way. We are yes. moving quietly. Yeah, very yeah. Sneaky. yeah. Sneaky. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneaky. Um, okay, Sneaky. since Kala has already seen where we're going, shouldn't she go first? Just that surprise. Uh, finally, I am carrying Clock's head, I guess, or um, because I, I, I took like, um, gave it to Rowan, but um, after getting in the in the sack, yeah, who did take it? It's up to um, it's up to it's completely up to yeah. you. It doesn't matter okay. to me who's taken it. So who would like to yeah. have it attached to? I'm them? happy to have it if you want. Okay. Oh, okay. Fine. Soon as I'll be up close and personal. Yeah, okay, so, um, you need to tell me okay. what order you'd like to go in, and you need to all roll, um, for stealth. I'll go second. Am I going first, then? Yes, yes, you are. I will go third in front of my... I guess... From I'll Rowan's point of view, mage best friend. <laughs> even though you're <it's> very aware, <laughs> Aramil hates Rowan. I'm not, <laughs> not, not a big fan. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so, um, and are you going at the back? Are you bringing up the rear, Ash? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I got a nat 20 for stealth, by the way. Okay. Plus you are five. 19. Okay, 19. Um, na Ash got a natural 20. That's fantastic. So they give me 22. Wow. Um, Rowan, disadvantage, please. Yep. Oh. Uh, one second. Um, what's my stat for stealth, or is it just a straight roll? Oh, you're, um, you're no, so yeah, you got a stat. You should have some sort of minus one. Okay, good, good, good. That's four. Okay, so I'm twenty. I'm twenty-one, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Proud yeah, of our, you. Our amazing rolls don't matter no, when we don't. have somebody with an armor that <laughs> just. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, but like, just become one guy. Aramil, what did you get to get? What did you get? Eight. You got eight. Yeah. Not, so... not, not very stealthy this time. I I like said there's always... Me and Aramil are bickering as the head on my waist hits his dress ever so often. It's like, yeah. for God's sake, bro! Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm trying my best! Pretty much. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are bickering. You've got Ash... Who is just um, who is bringing bringing up sort of bringing up the rear, and with her natural twenty, she is just like she's like a whisper. She's whisper quiet, and she just lined um, up saying, "We will turn this party around if you don't shut up." And she <laughs> just and she puts um, she puts her um, her hand on um, on Aramil's shoulder, and she just sort of go, kind of goes at him and instantly he's um the kind of like slight annoyance that he was feeling towards rowan after he got this like head shoved at him and everything else just seems to sort of disappear and um he stops arguing back 
Rowan, um, Rowan, however, is kind of chuntering to himself yeah, as Aramil, he shut up. Um, <laughs> Aramil's not even Aramil's saying nothing at this point. Um, Calla and Diona are stealthily walking forward, and um, and Rowan's being um, Rowan's being rather clunky. So, how far would you like to go? Um, what do you want to choose for us, Callie? Right at the front. Let's keep going around. Um, here. I'm such a detriment to this party. <laughs> oh, it's not that big of a deal. If it's not <laughs> you rolling bad, it's me or literally anybody else. <laughs> That's why we're called Natural One, right? Right. So, Ka so Kala, um, anyone who's got dark vision can see sort of forward. So you can see at this point that you appear to be coming towards where um, a cave, a kind of an entrance where a cave will a cave opens up. So, um, what would you like to do at this point? Keep moving forward stealthily. Okay, so if you could roll another stealth check for me, please. Do you all want to? Do you all? Twenty, want, twenty, twenty. Do you want to all? Move, you want to all move forward together? So yeah. well, I got natural twenty plus my five stealth. So okay, like twenty-five. So twenty. Um, yep, yeah, um, Rowan. I rolled a natural twenty, but then I rolled a five. So that's okay, four so. Right there. Damn it! Yep, your natural twenty um, is negated. <laughs> um, oh, Aramil, what did you get? Uh, twenty. Wow! And after... yeah, that 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 hand really really worked. <laughs> it really so... worked. I was going to say <laughs> no. Ash, fifteen. Fifteen. So actually, the hand worked really well on Aramil, and he's actually being even more stealthy than you now. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> Rowan is just an absolute liability. So where would you, at this point, where would you like to clunk your way to? Because whatever you've decided to do, those roles I have to be... I natural 20. You... I know, but... There's only so much that can be done for this situation. There is. We're just going to walk in head on, then. There's nothing else we can just do. Whisper it. Let's just well, rush we it. we think we're being <laughs> stealthy. Oh, you Rowan might as well just rush oh. it at this point. Yeah, we'll just we'll just walk in. I'm just gonna walk in. Okay, um, we'll just rush it. You can um, suddenly you um, you as you get into the doorway, you spot that there are five goblins um, all sat round a fire, kind of drinking and talking, and with the roaring of the fire and their their kind of muttering and talking that's been going on, they have not noticed you. So. Um, would you like you can take, so it doesn't you, even matter you, you can take an attack you can take, head at you, them. Can, you can take attacks of op an attack of opportunity you can take an attack of opportunity each so if you would like to roll initiative you will get one free round oh okay. uh, seven can we throw the head at them oh well the head at them sorry I've got to do I've got, I've got quite a few of them that I've yeah. got to try and... Um... Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And... Ah, blue. Five natural 20s. <laughs> okay, so if you can give me... Um, anyone get 20 to 25? 15 to 20? 17. So, um, Ash got 17. Um, 10 to 15. 13 for Rowan. Please, oh my GDM. <laughs> Rowan got 13. Um, anyone got 5 to 10? 7. Nine. So, Eight. okay, so Callum. Give on with the tradition. 9. <laughs> um, Aramil. Eight. Got eight, and Iona got seven. Well done, guys. <laughs> okay. Ooh, sugar. Iona got seven. Right, sorry, that's the other way around. Okay, so first up in that order then will be Ash. Ash, okay. can, co Ash can come, because she rolled an actual 20 <laughs> before, so she is being, she is so stealthy. She, stel she stealths past Rowan. Um, these goblins are still kind of talking and laughing. This is all kind of going to happen um, kind of almost simultaneously, 
because as soon as you start sort of fire, kind of fire, hitting at them, they will obviously start firing back. Um, so, Ash, what would you like to do? Back here. How far? I can move 30 feet. Well, I'm being stealthy, so that's half, right? Or, no. A, um, a... I don't... Hold on, do you have any kind of... You're move because you're moving slowly. It is halved the amount okay, of that's what well, I was... up to that point. But if you basically decide at this point to no longer be no longer being if you stealthy, because we're decide, all moving if, at once, if right? You, it, pretty much. So we're going to assume that you're all kind of moving at once. If you um, decide that you're going to move, continuing being stealthy, because you're going to be kind of firing, doing whatever you're going to be doing first, then it's only 15 if you just basically like bum rush it then you've got your sort of up to 30 but you can remember you can do part of it an action and part of it again you don't have to move your full you don't have okay. to kind of it's you um, don't have to do it in like two separate chunks you can break it up i want to run over to here because that was like 25 feet right or from yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was almost 30 feet. That's fine. So I'll just call it, I move all the way over to here. This, And I go for this one that's over here, the furthest one away from everybody. Okay. With my scimitar. Okay. So if you're going to go for that. And with the um, surprise whatever the you get it that... yeah i was gonna say you get it you get advantage on this attack advantage. so i got 19 that one okay so that hits and that's an eight so i'm gonna go with the 19 and i add four for the scimitar 19 20 21 22 20 it doesn't matter at this point but it's 23 <laughs> and then the scimitar is a d6 plus three I got six damage. Okay, the um, the goblin slumps to the um, slumps to the um, slumps down. It's not dead, but it is. Um, it's not prone. Yeah, it's not it's... not in a good way. The rest of the goblins, though, have actually seen um, now know that this is all going on, and so that one attack was fantastic. Is obviously sort of started it all off but now you're going into proper combat mode so that goblin is actually going to um <clears throat> going to take an attack on you but it is prone so it's at disadvantage uh 16 um hold on yeah 16 what's your ac 13 okay it is going to um use its scimitar to try and hit you and so it is going to take Four, five, six. Six points of slashing damage as it lies there and it manages to get its scimitar and it goes for you and it sort of takes a takes a slice at you and does six points of slashing damage. Um after the, Somebody help. Thirteen minus six. The um the, seven. Yeah. <laughs> seven. Thank um, you. The uh the um one this the yellow one. <laughs> the yellow one. The one that's um in the yellow um, gets up off its um, off its sort of. Sack. I thought that since we were all kind of doing it at once, yeah, but that the, it because was it, because you all went in at once, you all rolled. You came out first, but obviously, as soon as you went to attack and ran in, they all that's that, they saw us. That's kind of how it yeah. works. It's okay. like you you got a, you got an attack you got a, sort of an attack of of advantage, but then they've but they've all spotted you now. And it's I going to turn. It's going to turn round, and it's going to fire a crossbow at Keller. It um it it gets a three, so it goes. The crossbow bolt goes wide. It's trying to do it as it's running, and the crossbow bolt just pings off the side. Um, next up is Rowan. Okay, um, I'd like to like mm, shout him, throw them the head, like um. Sorry, I it's think it's, to you. I think it's my turn, yeah. Super. Oh, sorry. What? What? Yeah, he, no, just, he just. Right, just, right, just Aramil just shouted, "Show them that! Show them the head!" 
Okie dokie. Uh, I will then, for my action, take the head out, spin it a few times, and then throw it at uh, this guy's face. Which guy? Which guy? What? This guy. Red. 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 Red so the red boy. You are going to try and throw thirty. You're going to try and throw something heavy what? thirty feet. Well, oh, twenty-five. That's fine. <laughs> um, I need you to do. Um, I need you to do. Okay, to start with, I need you to do a strength throw. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That is. Uh, oh wait, that's my saving throws. Where's my normal strength? Thank you. That's nineteen. Okay, so um, the this head is n weighs nothing to you, and so you kind of a shot put and you swing it round and you throw it. If you could do an athletics check for me, please, I would like I to see, I would like to see how proficient you are at throwing something. The art of head throwing. Yes. <laughs> the art of head shot putting. How the other side live. <laughs> that is fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you throw the head. It doesn't get quite as far as you'd like, but what it does do is it rolls in front of the um, the one in. Ye it rolls in front of the one with the little yellow dots, and it just ro and it kind of makes a bit of a squishy noise, and it rolls to the front, and you just hear a voice shouting, "Stop!" I was going to say, as I throw it, can I go, diplomacy away? <laughs> you can absolutely do that. Um, diplomacy you, away. You hear um, the shout, um, the shout saying, stop. And you and you don't know where, you don't know exactly where it's, but it sounds like it's come from up above, if that makes sense. It sounds like oh. it's come from, because this is, this room isn't like two tiers. So you've got the bottom tier here and then about 10 feet above. You've got um, like a, um, a second tier, and you can hear a shout from above. Can we just make the point that my character made the literal diplomacy role? <laughs> <laughs> okay. At this point... Um, Are you... we still doing in order of... At this... I, I, I think... Was it in English or in Goblin? It was in it was in Goblin, because um, right. Was, so it, uh, the, whatever the the order was not to you. The order I think well was the order to you was the order to the goblins. The uh, goblins are no longer the go goblins are no longer firing. Are no longer looking like they're about to attack. Everyone looks very much like they're on a. I, I think we should try and find where the voice came okay. from and hope that Aramil can talk to the goblin speaking stop sayer. Can I I yell, I show yourself? Yeah. Aren't we still in okay. initiative, though? Yeah, that's what I was you're, wondering. You're not, no, so, you're, sleeping, you're not at the moment because what? Because throwing the head in has stopped and it has that's has it. has paused has paused initiative for now because there's now no com there's now no com combat is is being held because a, an order has been shouted from somewhere and. Well, then I'm going to go up to the top tier and see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because as you are as you are rushing, um, you, before you kind of get right to the top, you see Clark, not Clark. You see um, Yemek, the, the other, the other one. Yeah, you that see, one. Um, you I'm see Yemek, and he is holding Silda's hair. And he is holding Silda right on the edge of this um, this drop. Silda and he's so shit. And he's and Silda is has got his eyes closed and he is slumped and he is on the edge got, of he's got what no, drop. He's got no no armor. He's wearing basically like his undergarments. He's wearing he's got nothing and he's looking bruised and he's looking battered. And Clark is holding. Um, like holding him his sort of him, him forward over the drop and he sort of says truce of the human dies uh, okay, I... sounds good to me <laughs> yeah I, I tell him I tell hey, him guys stop we okay, all just guys. come to agreement just okay. chill I don't okay. drop my bow but I like, successfully I chill 
I ain't I dropping put it down. Mm -mm. As in, like, I, I'm not firing uh, anything, you don't have but it. it's still yeah. loaded and it's by my side. Okay. Um, I unload my great axe. I put it away. I unload <laughs> my loot. <laughs> I'll, nice. I'll tell you. Yimik, like. Okay. Release. Release Hilda. And you live. And you live. Okay. Look, there is cloth. Like, there is cloth. Release Ye him. Yimik looks Yimik looks down over the um over the drop and he sees Clark's head sort of there on the floor on the floor and he and you just hear him laughing sort of sort of manically and he looks at you Kala and he looks at um and he looks at you all and he sort of goes I would have possibly parleyed with you, but uh, you've already done what I wanted you to do. Kill them! And he pushes Silda off the edge of the cliff and Silda drops down to the floor. Is there time can we try to catch him? Try and catch him? You can try it. So one of you can try and, ca you can try and catch him. I, who's closest? I think he might be closest. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, I don't know where they're at exactly. Where are they at up there? You have not like, there's... Oh, oh they, well, yeah, where are, where are they? Are they, like, closer to Kala? It's because it didn't actually come up. No. Sorry, sorry, guys. There. Ah, and okay. Silda is Should now... Should we both try and catch them, Kala? And Silda is... Silda, yeah, Silda, is, to... Silda is now... Ver yeah. Silda is now, um... It is, drop is dropping. You've got to make a decision, really. I'll try and catch him. Oh, one of you make rolling? a decision fast. I'm Me. catching him. Sure, okay. both oh, of us. Both of us. They're Yes. Lock arms and catch him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Trust roll. Roll both of uh, you. I roll a twelve. Do what do I add to it? Acrobatics. I got nineteen. It's um. I would like. It's not going to be. Um. It's not going to be ac acrobatics. It's going to be athletics to try and oh, okay. um to try and 22. get to him. Twenty-two. Okay. 22. Um. I only uh, you do not twelve then. Iona, you do not get there, but Kala, you do, and you need to roll a strength check for me to see whether you actually take any damage from his dropping body. Natural 20. Um, oh! you, do not, you do not- You win with, with one hand. You like, do not take any- you do not take any up. damage at all. You actually somehow manage to kind of slide him down, sort of slightly- use your body as almost like a slide, and he slides down. Um, he is on- he is on- he's not quite on death's door, but he is not far off. If you'd let him fall, he would have been. Um, you have actually uh, managed to stop him from taking um, that damage, which would have knocked him over the edge. But it means that we are now back into the initiative, and we are now adding in Yimik, who is going to be. <laughs> who are we up to? I've just um, gone. Two. Rose it was just gone. Ash is gone. Rowan's gone. Yeah. Yimik, Yimik is going to go. Yimik oh, is shit. going to take out his crossbow and he is going to fire straight down at Kala, who has caught the body, but obviously is a little, is sort of slightly distracted. Uh, but he gets a four. He is quite shocked that um, after seeing Kala rush down and sort of take... Uh, manage to actually catch him. Yeah, and take, take the body so he doesn't actually manage to hit. And it's Kala's go now. I'm gonna hit Emic. Okay, so are you going to take um, take a shot with your bow? Yep. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 15? Uh, 15 hits. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, 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 oh my god. Nine. Nine points damage. Okay. Then he is, um, he is. He, he is hurt, but he's um, he's he's not out of the battle. Um, up after that is Aramil. Okay, I'm gonna move here. Okay. I'm, I'm finally going to cast 
burning hands. You're right. going to you're going to so, cast burning hands. Yeah. So, um. To those two that are here, the orange and and blue, blue one. Okay. So. Okay. Um, more or less. So I don't hit. You um, it's a it's a it's a fifteen it's a fifteen foot cone, so it's fifteen yeah. so it's obviously fifteen foot out depending on you. So as long as you're not anywhere that's going to any of your compatriots are yeah. going to get 15, hit by that. I guess would be like that, no more or less. Um, fifteen. He 15 will. Would be he he uh, here. It's a it's a bit over the those the two those two there. Um, yeah. will definitely yeah, will definitely will will definitely take um the the one that's green the green one won't the red no. the red oh, the red no i think the red uh, is the red just... is the red the red might take a little bit of damage um just from the sort of from okay the fire out so the they need to do dexterity saving throws okay so Orange one. What is your spell save? No, hold on. Dex save. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. I just need to figure this. Your what is your spell casting? Okay. Hold on. It's... So to resist it's DC thirteen. Yeah. No, so the one that's orange doesn't um doesn't resist. No, they neither of them resist, so they both are going to take three d six of fire damage. Ooh! I, 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 I did. throw. Do I have to throw three d six every for each of them, or it's three d six for for each of them, or the the damage will be same for all of them? No, no, it's different for each. Okay. Of, it's different for each of them. So choose which one you're going to go through first. <clears throat> okay, the orange one. Okay. So three D. So three D six. Oh fuck! Come on. You got mm. this. Come on. Okay, it's seven. Seven. Oh, yeah. Seven takes. So sad. Seven takes. Um. Seven takes the orange one out. Um. As the fire. Okay. As the fire kind of goes towards it, it can. It. It's just basically. You can just. It's just combusted completely. Um. You would like to go for the blue one now, please. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Six. Oh. Nice. The um the blue one, having it's seen the one. um having seen the damage very quickly, it's reacted quite fast, and it just it takes it, but just as it's taking the damage, it ducks it down behind the hay, which is surprisingly or uh, slightly on fire, but not as on fire as his compatriot was. So he has taken a lot of damage, but he hasn't actually yet left this mortal coil. So, um, it is now. How's the red one got on? <clears throat> Red one's still completely, completely fine. Oh, he didn't moment. take. Okay. Um, it's Iona now. Right, I'm gonna try and cast Healing Word on Silda. A healing Word on Silda. Go for it. Uh, let me find. Right. Uh, okay. Just off to the bathroom. I'll be like two seconds. Plus. Is it performance? I don't know if so I can hold on. You're the one with the information. I'm I'm not very clever. <laughs> uh, you don't remember you've only you've only you've only got two spell slots. Spell casting ability modifier. A healing word Which I think is it's, performance. It says Where's healing word? It says a creature of your choice that you can see within your range regains hit points equal to 1d4 plus your spell casting ability modifier. On your thing, it says um, spell casting ability charisma. Charisma. So right. it's 1d4 um, so, plus 3. Yes. So, uh, well, I, I rolled a. Oh, I don't need to roll to hit. No, that. you don't need to roll to hit. It's just 1d4 plus 3. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Silda regains six um, points. He is he is he is 
um, he is hurt, but he is now at least he's got his eyes open. Um, he does not have um, anything apart from the the sort of I, the scraps of clothing on his back. What would you like to do? Anything, would you like to move? Do I have another action? No, because that was your spell. I can just yeah. <laughs> so you can I'm, move. You can move. I'm very confused. Oh, I've got one more bardic inspiration, <laughs> don't I? Yes, you do have one more bardic. No, do you? I have three total and I've used two. What okay. are you laughing at? Um, oh. She's like, no. Yeah. Who do you think you are? <laughs> what about... What? What about the yeah. one for, um... Aramil when he was talking to the one goblin? I thought that was... I don't think that was my third. I think it was my second. It says here I've got three bodies. No, because you used one on yourself. You yeah, one, one to Aramil, one to me. When did I inspire I you? Uh, no, I was going to say that you was used the first three. one you did. The very first one that you did, you inspired I... Rowan. So you've used all. Yeah. You've used all three. Okay. So you have no more bardic inspirations. So the only thing that you can do is you can move. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, I think I'll move. Uh, over here. Hopefully, flanking those two. With um. Okay, it is the um the red one the is going the red the red one is going to take a swipe at you, um as you come into um into the, it's fourteen. My armor class is fifteen. Okay, so it does not hit you. You just managed to get past in time for before that happens. The orange one um is got is has been incinerated. It is no longer. It's, to it's, a it's a deceased it's an goblin. Ex goblin. Um, so it's now Ash. It's Ash. a goblin crisp. It's crispy, crispy <laughs> fried. Um, Ash, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move to take the one that I injured out and just slash because it's still prone, right? It's still pr it's pr it is properly pr it's prone. It's like okay. It's so I get advantage on that back, one, right? So you get advantage. Yes. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my scimitar and slash down to try and behead it, also, because like it. we seem to be we seem to be beheading a lot of things There's lately. There's a lot of beheading going on. So um, roll twice. Okay, that's a ten. I'm gonna try that again. That would be a nineteen plus the scimitar is plus four. Yeah, 19, you, 20. yeah, yeah, so you, you, yeah. Head it. There's there's some, um, there's some serious, there's beheading going on. Six <laughs> <laughs> plus. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I killed. I would have killed it the first time if that's what I would have gotten. Absolutely, right? you would have killed it the first time. But this is like this is oh this is Absolute over this overkill. is serious overkill. So yeah, you have taken the head, cut the head, fall comes up and the head roll rolls off um in like next to Iona, um and just kind of like eh, looking up at her, which is all a little bit horrible. Um, it would have been the green one's gut, but it's no longer because it is dead. Um, now, really? um, it, the, no, it's going to be the. It's going to be that. Yeah, it's going to be that yellow. Yeah. It's going to be that yellow one's turn. However, as the um, as um, you dropped down, as Callow caught um, Silda as he came crashing down and sort of slid him down it actually knocked um it knocked him prone it actually knocked um knocked the one that was yellow sort of over so it has disadvantage on its attacks it's going to try and attack aramil because it, aramil's in of sort of in the sort of line of sight i'm gonna die it has got a nine and a twelve it's nine yeah nine nine hold on 10 11 12 Nine, ten, no. eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. What's your armor class? Twelve. Ah, it hits. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. It does. Hi, cruel world. It does eight <laughs> squishy bud. It does eight points of damage. Oh. It, what? 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 What's your armor? What's your hit points? Eight. Okay. So. Um, you, you are now. No! You are now on. Um, oh you're, going, you're going to be on. Um, you're going to be on. Um, you're going to be on. On death saves yeah. now. Okay. So, um, 
the um, the goblin, even though um, it's lying on the floor, it has ta it's taken a shot at Aramil. Well, and it has squishy an party member. And it has ju and Aramil just crumples with, a, with a, uh, an arrow stuck in his chest, just crumples to the floor. I knew he should have been wearing more than a dress. Um, <laughs> so it is now, it's now Rowan's go. Okay. Uh, seeing what just happened, I will run <clears throat> straight to the yellow one, mm -hmm. uh, screaming, For my magey boy! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take a big Magey boy! <laughs> <laughs> magey man! <laughs> my main mage man! <laughs> my main mage man! <laughs> Go for it. I'm shipping those two. I'm this, shipping yeah, Rowan and This love-hate relationship love it. will love happen. Aramil does the hating, Rowan does the love. <laughs> um, oh, that Perfect. sounded weird. Fan fiction. Um, oh, get on it, guys. Fan fiction. <laughs> that's, um, that's a 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Oh, shit. Rolf damage. Out of my burning passion for my mage who just got hit down, I have some good DM on this roll. <laughs> it, it's fit to, to start now. <laughs> I would like you to, I, I, with that, I would like you to roll, um, just roll to hit. Yeah, I, I rolled a 21 Yeah, to that's hit. fine, so roll your damage. Okay, 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 eight. So yeah, that takes, anyway. yeah, that takes him out. So, how, how do you want? How do you want to revenge kill him? Uh, I will swing at its legs and then immediately bring Pride back round to cleave across the chest afterwards. So take the knees out and then. They... Nice. So you the, basically, boy. you're you're basically like Julienning, dicing, and slicing <laughs> this guy. And the axe goes through. The axe goes through. The axe goes through, and it just <laughs> gets shorter and shorter every time until it's just like. Shoulders. A manning blade never goes dull. Yeah. So Golden now, Yemek, having seen this going on, yeah. is going to try and... Hold on. Oh, God. It... Where is he? He is going to... Three, five... He is going to run. He is going to run down the stairs... Don't I get an attack of opportunity? You will do, and he, as he runs past, Keller gets an attack of opportunity at him. Okay, so that would probably be my short sword. Yep. So you just uh, just to swipe at him. As he nineteen. Runs. Yeah, that hits. Uh. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> two six. Uh, uh. Six points of damage. Yep, that takes him out. So she as wants. he runs, as he runs Ooh. past you. You um you swipe at him. You take one big swipe, and he is down. Aramil, you need to do a death saving throw. Come on, Aramil. No. So you need to roll a d roll a d twenty. If you get um so ten 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 a d twenty ten or above is a death is a save. Under ten is a fail. And you need no. to get and you need to okay. get, and you need to get three. Nine. Which one? We've killed the the green one and the orange one too, as well. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just I'm going through though. I'm just going through it because I'd forgotten to press okay. the buttons. Okay. Um, what did you get? You got ten. Nine. You got nine. Yeah. So that is that yeah. is that is um that is one check on the death. That is one okay, check on the death. Okay, it's oh one check on failure, right? You're okay. It's oh, that's fine. So right. it is the now I didn't the red oh um the red one. No, Iona. Iona, it's your go. I use my other healing words on Aramil. <laughs> For the love of Christ! What, what is your word of healing? What is your word of healing? Um, um, uh, your dress <laughs> looks so nice today. <laughs> that's that's I... more of a sentence of healing, but we will, but I will, but I will go with it. So, what is your um... looking good? <laughs> Uh, what is your so do you so it's is it one d it's one d four plus three? Uh, Are d four plus the same? four? So oh, no. seven, seven total. Okay, so Aramil, you take you get back seven um you get back seven points um seven hit points and you kind of 
you sort of sit up and you pull the arrow out of your chest and notice that whatever Iona has done to sort of heal you is healing your wound quite it's it's not instant but it's healing it's healing your wound closed and you really kind of, nice and you sort dress of, and you pull yourself um you pull yourself sort of back and you lean against the um against this hay bale kind of trying to catch trying to catch your breath slightly um the red one um still hasn't um you, do you want to move by the way bearing, I guess in, I bearing in mind should. that the bearing in mind that the red will um take an attack of opportunity against you if you do move okay no i'll stay here i'll stay here this is fine <laughs> okay so fine. the red one is going to attack you oh yeah yeah <laughs> um well, this is not an attack of opportunity <laughs> so it's get attacked or get attacked you move you get back you stay still you get back so who's got the bats everywhere? So basically, if you yeah, if you'd gone, you would have got attacked. You've stayed, you get attacked. So hold on, it has rolled a fourteen to hit. I have fifteen armor class. Okay, so it misses, just misses. Um, and it is going to try. It has seen what's happened, and it is going to try and run away. Which means, what happens? Attack of opportunity. And, and Ash is next. Ash is next to it, and you are, and Ash is higher up on the initiative roll, which means Ash gets the first attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, it means the... Yeah, so it's an attack. So it's an attack with a blade. So um, so it'll probably be like your scimitar or whatever. So roll your d20 right. and add your... Okay. I noticed that it's trying to run away, so I just kind of it's slide going, back it's going... towards it. <laughs> Like that as it's trying to like it looks like it's, it's about a guinea to like, pig. <laughs> it looks like it's trying to it looks like it's trying to scarper. You it's notice this twelve <laughs> guinea pigs in a set of armor. And since Just... it is opportunity, I get the the second one right or no, no. um it's, not in a type no. of option it's just it's just okay like an extra, it's just you get to okay you get you get so this it's extra 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. yeah that so hits nineteen that hits and then that very much hits. A D6. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> I got a, f a four damage. Okay. It falls to the ground. As it's running, it falls to the ground prone. <sighs> Which means, let's do. Um, Iona, you can now take. A no you can stab. Try to stab it down. It is prone, so you get an attack of op you get an attack of opportunity with advantage. That's the word so I was I looking for So I roll my d20 earlier. twice. You roll your d20 so twice. twice. First score was 10, second score is 18. Okay, that which hits. Which obviously hits whatever the fuck I add to it. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna... So it's 1d6 for my rapier. I roll a 1, but I get plus 3, so 4 damage. And with that, how would you want to kill that final gob... Um, oh no, the blue one's still got 1 point. But how would you like to kill, like, pretty much kill it? Well, he's fallen over, so I quite fancy stabbing him in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you um, you go, you fine. You go down to um to stab him in his butt and impale, and your rapier goes straight through and just basically sort of you let go, you let go of it, and all you can see is this like rapier like wobbling out of his butt. <laughs> Out of his um, from, from his butt. Um, there is one goblin left, um, which is the one, the blue one. Um, if Ash... I'd say he's having a bit of a crap oh, day. Oh, it's my turn. Ash, um... it's your turn. Poor Aramil is Aramil's looking. Aramil starting to look like the colours coming back to his cheeks and everything. Um, I don't. He was. He wasn't really prepared for like nearly dying. <laughs> Like when he said when he set up the other day, this is not what well, it was not on his like to do list. <laughs> the blue one's this one. Yes. So you're okay. Um, yeah. So there's no one in your way. You're 13 feet. I I'm just gonna throw my dagger at it then. Go for Actually, it. no. I'm gonna use my thorn whip. I'm gonna use my thorn whip. Ooh, I like, I like it. I'll, I will remember it this time. Yeah, love it. Um, thorn whip. I still have to roll the hit, right? Yep. You still roll it. So it's a d. So it's a d20 plus five. Mm. Uh, oh, it's plus. Wait, what? Thorn whip is Why plus is it five, plus... so it's d20, because uh, Ash, it's, that's what you're, it's a melee weapon, thorn whip, plus five. Thorn whip is plus five? 
I don't know why I don't have that written down anywhere, but I don't. Hold on. So you've got your dagger is... Isn't it? It's a spell, right? So it's plus my wisdom check, right? It's... um... No, but it's... um... Oh, yeah. No, hold on. Oh, my God. Form whip. I've got it down as melee spell plus five. I don't know what I've done there, haven't I? Have I done something really wrong? It's like a hit. Takes I might be wrong. I'm just assuming what by what I've heard and learned so far. Yeah, no, no, because it's a spell attack. So, mm. um, so it's a melee because it's a melee spell attack. So it's not ranged or anything. So, um, if you read down your information, it says plus five to hit with spell attacks. On the right hand side. On the right hand. On the right hand side, right hand box where you've got like druidic spell casting, spell casting focus. You've got spell save DC thirteen, and then underneath it it says plus five to hit with spell attacks. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you could so D twenty plus five. I thought it was a plus three. Yeah. So well, um, I'll tell you what, now it's, even it's six. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the um this this got because I got a one. Yeah. This I, that's a one get... or is that seven? Natural one for the win. Did you, did, oh, oh no, that was a seven. That was a seven, not a one. Thank fuck. I was, I was a seven. Say, if you got a natural one, I would have to obviously count. No, no, no. Count that. I got so a seven. I got eight, a nine, seven. seven. Eleven, twelve. Still doesn't hit, but at least you don't take like. At least you don't like. I don't know. Chip over and stab yourself in the foot or something. So hey, um, it is now. Um, your dagger has flown wide, uh, so your thorn whip is, is not um, has, has not hit it. But obviously, you don't lose it. It sort of just comes back, and you're just looking really sort of mightily cheesed off. Um, Rowan, it is now your go. Why do they gotta look so similar? I know it's really frustrating. Rowan, it is... I'm gonna put a mark on it. <laughs> I'm saying that all goblins look the same. Oh, you're one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan, it is your go. The one is going to get blacked um, out. So, I... The, the blue one is the only one yeah. left. Yeah. Um, seeing what just happened to Aramil... Yeah. Uh, Rowan would want to get to Aramil as quick as possible. So, can I throw my javelin while running with disadvantage? Because I'm trying. To, I'm running at the same time. Yes. Okay, cool. My one now has little black dots around it because it's the black dots of death. Oh, I like it. Okay, so you can, as you're running, you're running towards um, the, you're running towards that final goblin, kind of going whoa like that, and you uh, like, throw your javelin. But obviously, you're having to kind of do lots, of, hmm. lots of calculations in your head about sort of like this, this quick math. Wind speed, and, not, and we know that you're not good at maths. So, <laughs> how are you gonna do? What happened? Oh no! Um, here. It, oh, oh, there we go. So, um, we can, yeah. So, what did you roll? A thirteen to hit. Uh, that does not hit. The javelin goes wide. The javelin goes. That's fine. I don't care because I skid down on my knees around Arrow. <laughs> Aww. That so it runs at the um it runs sort of um. Yeah. So um, that's um Rowan goes over to um to where Aramil sort of propped up and sort of drops down um and that's the end of that your turn the blue one is going to the blue one is going to try and run so it's going to go run and it's going to try and jump on top of the of this um sort of hay bale to come past which means the person that gets an attack of opportunity would actually be Aramil so Aramil, okay. you have enough to be able to take an attack of opportunity on it. Um, am I? I'm, you am can't, I? You um, you, you can is he? Is it, he like? It, uh, um, it has. It has to be with the attack of opportunity. Has to be with a yeah. melee weapon. So oh. it would have to be with like. It would have to be with your short sword. I'm afraid, because it's a kind of. You haven't got time to like yeah. to get your things out and cast spells and all the stuff it's like uh, i cannot use the country then no because it because even because okay. that stuff you, you've still got to like pre- like get things out your pocket and it's still like things or say things or whatever okay and okay it's, 
no time, so you're just slashing at him. So okay, then you're, you're attack... still a d20 plus my... five. It's still pretty, de pretty, pretty damn decent. Yeah. So it's eighteen. Okay, no, uh, yeah. seventeen. Sorry, <laughs> seventeen. Seventeen. Hits. Okay, and it's one d six plus two. That mm, <laughs> having one point, it's five points. Uh, yes. Um, the, you, how would you like to kill? How would you like to kill that goblin? Well, like as he's running through, or he is trying to come to my left, um, on my right. Sorry, uh, I just take the sword. I'm going to hit it, but as he's running, really, and he's he isn't very high. He's rather small. More or less, like his head is mm, like yeah. at the height of my sword. I so see, yeah. he impales himself. It's him. It. It's him, like w which cuts his own head with my sword. Basically, he is completely and utterly oh, sort of just. Like, he's just I, taking I, himself I'm still, out. I'm still pretty bad. Like recovering, I just see him. <laughs> I, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah but but he yeah. really does the does the job. For me. Yeah. <laughs> like I just want to say, I feel really bad because we have now killed every last goblin except for the one we left outside at first. Oh, you're so <laughs> lovely! Oh, you just oh, have to kill him. No, 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 no. Well, I didn't I... kill the one that you. Very much remember <laughs> putting two goblins to sleep. I know my maths isn't great, but it's at least <laughs> half a horse of goblins asleep. <laughs> Horses have only got three legs. I, mean, we, I feel really bad. There we, go. we will stop there um, because it's five o'clock. Um, you have taken out all of the goblins. You have made sure you have rescued Sil. You have made sure that Silda's alive, um, and you did. You have caught him and he and given him some healing, and he's sort of he's starting to come round. You've saved um, Aramil from death, but Aramil's taken out some as well. Um, so, congratulations! You are in. Yeah. You are now going to be level two. Ooh. So, yeah. to, start, to start the next campaign, um, you will um, you'll be able to sort of talk to Silda and uh, and kind of go and then go on from there. Um, but in, but we'll do that next time because then everyone can go because it's obviously with my internet being funky, we've kind of gone on for a bit longer than I would have hoped. Um, but what I will do is because we're not quite sure when the next will be because of Ash moving and stuff. Um, we'll what we can do is we can sort of we can work on upping you guys to level two so you can start your next session slightly beefier. Oh yeah! <laughs> no more one hit mage. <gasps> there we go. Please. <laughs> At least God. two hit mage. I'm pretty Damn sure that's me. the only time you've actually gotten hit, right? That's the only time you've lost. And it was all of it at once. I'm squishy. You are squishy. I'm actually right? squishy as <laughs> you right now because I am still a I am a squishy. You managed to avoid like taking damage so like so often, and then the one time it was I I rolled a I, I, from a d6 I rolled a six. It was like mm. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh no. oh no! It was like it's. I was like, it's okay. We've got healers. It's okay. We've got healers. <laughs> it's okay. Excellent. Oh. Well, I think that that's us. Have a good, safe drive. Yes, thank you. Yeah, take care. <laughs> and um, stay safe. I will speak to you all on Discord after, because that was that was that was epically done, guys. What a yeah. session! <laughs> what a session! <laughs> I oh. still feel really bad. They're all dead. Except they are, for the one. No. As far as Rowan is problems? aware, two are asleep. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they yeah. had obviously like, like, the, the entire of your childhood. Yeah. Your, 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 your parents. And, and, which, let's you know, be honest. The dog passed away. It's just like, oh, it's only asleep. Yeah. If, if I, if I Rowan when Rowan was young. No. So then to Rowan, they're all asleep. They're all yes. asleep. Yes. Oh, oh, definitely not, not killing all anything. Yeah. And oh. one outside is going to go and live on a farm. Yeah. <laughs> right. I will, we could keep him. I will end there, but I will not speak to you guys him. later.
Okay. Thank Bye. you so much, Thank Liz. You. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.